when he had to turn it up yesterday to get that winning B here, right here, right now, he was able to do so. Yeah, somebody we taking a look at as we look to jump into the server here. It's Northwood University. It's Winthrop University, the underdogs versus the alphas. And we get started here in the pistol on Haven. Yesterday, we saw the first time of a composition change, but it was so small in the set of Winthrop, right? It was no longer the Astra gonna be played. It was actually the Omen instead. So, so, so similar to these compositions. Everything looked the same. And you need to keep an eye on Furbsa and moves on the other side. And we are quick out towards this C site. The anchor here in Rip Engine, the rest of the squad is just behind him. Dip still lagging out towards A, but not needed so far. Furbsa picks up two. Benji will find another remaining. two of his own, and now Comey left all on his lonesome, and this pistol round is just about over as quickly as it started. The quick regression as well, and the quick respawns more than anything from the defense. This is a map that we saw from Winthrop, and something that on the analyst desk they were talking about, too. So good for this team. They really know how to play around those win conditions, but right now, it's gonna be the better read here at the pistol for the set of Northwood as Furbsa gets that third kill and they get that right. Yeah, and that's the guy that you you want to get started nice and early. Furbs uh, three kills towards his feels name. Good. Yeah, that, that feels pretty darn good. But on the opposite end, right, you want your jet to be popping off, but then you've got Benji, right? Especially here for the next 11 rounds, we're expecting this guy to be able to hold things down to be the anchor that the team needs. And he got started early in the pistol as well. That is something scary as well that the set of Winthrop are gonna have to deal with as early as possible. How first, do you shut down Furbsap? Because from Dip, from Darkest, he gets so much support. Now they get the pistol, they get a little bit more going on the defensive side. And again, support for Furbsap. Fault line through. Furbs able to collect the first kill. Does get revealed. Unfortunately, the classic's just not quite enough. And yeah, I just give this guy another dip is here to try and bail him out. Furbsa survives, but you cannot remaining. say the same for Winthrop. Is this time a similar situation, but it's A77 left to pick up the pieces. And I know we got to see that kill going to set of Furbsa for that first one, but I feel like there's going to be a war going on in the rounds to come between Moops and Furbsa towards that A short, where you know the Jet's going to be there. This time around, I was with a Marshall. Eventually, you're going to be expecting the Operator from this out of Moops, but this time around, not even waiting for it. Furbsa is ready. Yeah, just getting right on into it. Just unveils the operator here in round three. Also very close to those knives as well. So a bad situation for Furbsa. He's got ways to get out of it. Meanwhile, Winthrop University coming into this one. They finally have their first buy. We'll see what they've got queued up. It seems an early lean out towards A for now. And that is where we talked about the duel potentially happening in a couple of rounds in the future. But for now, the operator can be located towards that C side all right the way there. back and once again looking for that support this positioning for a league can be scary yeah. again but when, oh, Winthrop in the meantime the towards the beginning of this round they're willing to slow things down and I mean just about we're getting to 30 seconds off the clock and they're still inside the spawn right that's a good start there for Flair going fishing unfortunately couldn't quite find the catch meanwhile Comey's about to get all the information that they need here in round three the operator just around the corner they're not giving up yet. Yeah, has not been spotted, and I don't think you can be expecting this so early. Dash on in. Ooh, okay, A77 to scoop up the first, and the operator's been dealt with. Here we go, Winthrop University. Back in style here in round three. They finally get the weapons they need, and it was everything they could have hoped for as they only lose one in moves as they look to secure this full buy. And the setup there towards Covey on the defense is one of those where you're maybe set up for a one and down. They try to set up the crossfire, ends up getting taken down. And with that, Winthrop that takes all that space. Last two players, one of them definitely going to be trying to save that being darkest with the operator that he was able to pick up from Furbsa. But again, the round should be going to set up Winthrop here. Yeah, this, although a round loss is still a pretty big victory for Northwood. If, if they could get away with this operator, that would be... A whole lot. Darkest gonna try on the corner. Fault lines out. Nazi dealt with for the first. Still time on the clock. More to try their hand. The no scope just goes wide. And hey, Dryad. They say, let's get this thing to moves nice and early. It gets so scary when you see the operator early on. Usually when you see the operator buy, it's from that team that loses the pistol. They go for that save and then for the third round, you have the operator. So big risk that Northwood decided to take there. You're not able to capitalize from it. And now you're going to have it on the side of moves. And yeah. that, that's something scary to deal with. 
something scary to deal with, but now it also gives you options, right? If for whatever reason there was a world where they could reinvest into an operator for Ferbsa, you could put moves on the angle. You no longer have to be yeah. afraid of just uh, dry swinging with a rifle into A long or down C long. It's it's not going to be the operator. Instead, it will be the blades that we mentioned a couple of rounds ago. Ferbsa finally getting those online. I mean, they do the trick just as good, Dryad. Spots that jet on the other side decides to go for it. Does not work out the time around for Flares. So it's gonna be Forbes that good for the first opening kill of this round. And it moves uh, that we've talked about, and we get to see it now. He usually has a slow start, whether it is in the first couple of rounds or the first map, but he's able to get that first kill. He's able to have the operator at hand. So seems like the stage is set for this round, as this is the pace that you can expect from Winthrop. The pace that we saw yesterday, a slow one, I trying to get spike. for info. In a lot of rounds, he's been playing for that contact and waiting for the defense to do just this. Sometimes going spawn. the other way, though. Yeah, and I mean, this is worst case scenario. Uh, with the kill and the operator out towards C long, north with dot, maybe there's a chance that they're rotating that way, so they all start to leave, but they've found the prize, right? They've got the spike down inside the spawn. It's triangulated. There's no way to get that out of there. And Winthrop, yeah, that gets spotted. They need to run away, and it seems like another multi-kill multi here for Burps that gets three, and Komi being the last one. Wow. Not gonna have a chance at anything. Four kills here for the jet of Burps, uh, and a player that we talked about, but I, I mean, let's talk about how scary he can be. We the saw team. it there. We saw that the it's operator, off. we saw it with the yep. knives. We see it sometimes with the rifle. There was one match back then for one of the grand finals where he got three aces. Who does that? Who does you don't that? see that no. internationally. You don't see that regionally. You see it here in Collegiate yes. by this guy. You see it in Seabow North. That's where you get to see <laughs> it. And it's when you're watching Northwood, which uh, they've got a whole lot of maps played. So you get to see it quite often when you are watching nine and one to get us started with the knives in the last round, it, it almost makes you forget the hiccup in round three, right? Where Comey gets the best of Ferbsa, and then eventually at the end of the round, they end up losing the operator. But the ball doesn't lie. If the op was supposed to be in the hands of Ferbsa, it will be that as moves gets us started. Nice and early here, four sheriffs and a marshal is all Winthrop have to work with, but a weapon found and a kill to their name. And usually you see the Kijo utility being the one towards Garash. This time around, they change it up. They put it towards that A side, and that means you have to play for contact. That's the omen. Ali ends up getting taken down because of that. Oof. I, I, Komi, almost on the worst timing possible, but he does good. Jumps for another peak. Gets shot through the wall, so down to 6 HP. He'll be hanging out in the back lines. His moves now looking to get aggressive. Dashes through Garage, and he's immediately dealt with. Now it is just back to the Sheriff's. And the marshal here for Winthrop University, but no this way. might be enough. This might do the trick. Dip gonna tap back and forth. He'll find his one, but it's three kills the way of Winthrop as they've got themselves a C site. And Ferbs is the only close player for now with Benji in tow. And the only close with an operator, it becomes so much more difficult to get this going. The first opening kill has to be everything. Picking up that rifle too. <gasps> no! Comey gives up way too much. Flair was expecting something different, and now Benji put in a position to steal away the round. The criminal in so moves low. is gone. It's all up to A77 with a shock dart at his back. And Rip Benji does it here. A situation he should not have been in, but he pulls Northwood out of it. The player that on the side of Northwood Close. is the most calm and collected every single time. Isolated towards that A side where the fight was not going on. Gets a little bit of help from that first kill that Ferbs that was able to get, and then just the no full advantage so because of that. Now, both of the lockdowns here are going to be available. And again, these compositions are exactly the same. So it's all about the mental games. Something that Northwood even talked about. The fact that they played so many different tournaments, so many different maps, means that everybody is trying to counter shred them. And you know Winthrop was doing just that. Yeah, when you're at the top, it, it, it can be hard to stay at the top. But you know what they say, right? If, if you come for the king, you better not miss. It's yeah, Ferbsa continues to be a problem here on the server. Moves now finally in a position to start the battle back as Flair sticks the ultimate here on the A site. So run. in the back lines as Benji just completely no way. unsuspecting there of that one. Lockdown comes through from Winthrop. Oh, in the barrels. No way. Ferbsa getting away with murder. And he does this every single time, right? In many different ways. We talked about the operator, the marshal. This time around was the rifle just enough with the flick. Ends up getting taken down and the Hunter's Fury comes in. Yeah, they finally slow him down, but I mean, the inverse, right, right? The plant has been stalled. Darkest will take a blind shot. It doesn't find its mark, unfortunately, for Northwood University, but still in a position to maybe find their way back into this one. Ali has full utility as soon as they can get this omen set up. 
We'll finally see it tossed out. Paranoia queued up, smokes already in play. Move to find the first good reveal as Darkest drops down. The shorty will be just enough, but he's stuck on the reload. Only there to bail him out. And now the 1v1 with four HP. It was almost enough, but so close. Yet so far as Winthrop find another. And the shorty a little far away as Nazi is able to secure that one round. Second here for the setup Winthrop. With a setup that we see changing a little bit in the upper bracket final that we got to see that semi-final between these two teams. A lot of the rounds and both of the sides were being left for those retakes. You can see Northwood is not trying to let this happen. They're having that kill your util heavy towards the A side, trying to back up and playing for that aggressive style. And that round doesn't quite work out their way of running thunder. He is available as well for Winthrop. Massive win condition for this round. And a team, once again, willing to slow things down. Are they expecting this push here? And, and, and Winthrop have kind of done some of the heavy lifting. They finally get this reset on the economy so they can bring us within striking distance within one round. Good shots, though, back and forth. But it's Northwood out on top as Ferbza does it again. I mean, you give this guy a slingshot, and he's going to find these kills. He's just that good. Just every single round we've seen the kills from Ferbza come in and look insane, whether that's that flick or even the Guardian being more than enough. Is that passing it to Ali as the HP for that jet? is going to be low. But so winnable, right? The, the eco round, there was nothing going on. They go for that aggressive style. Winthrop reaches. That's what they were playing so far back. And even then, they cannot connect the kills. Yeah, fortunately, those kills and those rifles will be just out of reach. So like you mentioned, it is just going to be that Guardian in the hands of Darkest right now. Meanwhile, I mean, Winthrop are playing around the world here with this one. And I'm wondering, is Moobs going to pop the ultimate or is he doing this whole thing with the op? 30 seconds left. I don't think it's going to be the ultimate, at least not initially. Going to be trying to hold it for a little bit longer, but look at who's on the other side. Benji, up close, are they expecting him to be here? Spike planted. And Lockdown available. We'll see if that comes to fruition. Hunter Shuri on the opposite side for A77. Is... No way. Moves puts himself in a bad spot. Going up top was Ferb, so he will gladly sacrifice his own life for Darkest to find that kill. And Northwood, I mean, they continue to flip the script in some of these rounds. You get a free operator, you get the free rifles as well. You secure their round for Northwood once again. And you can tell it, they're feeling pretty confident about this one. Yeah, they feel all right. Benji getting a little sturdy <laughs> on the spike This is the there. quiet player, by yeah. the way. <laughs> yeah, this is the quiet one. I said he lets uh, his server work do the talking. That's where, that's where he does, just says most of his words. He lets, uh, you know, actions speak louder than words. Mm. I mean, if you're getting the rounds, if you're getting those kills and that eco round, it has to feel good on the side of Northwood. Five rounds on the defense that they're able to secure. And that's the thing. The only ultimate that we saw early on was that Hunter's Fury. Everything else they've been able to save. And they have all the stack ultimates to deal with, but potentially a retake if they want to leave it up to that one. But once again, it seems like up close towards A, an operator in the hands of Burps and looking for more. And the cross out towards A long. Recon bolt doesn't reveal enough there. Ooh, the jump across and they walk away with their lives. Dip there though to capitalize. Finds A77 getting a little too comfortable. Nazi seemingly will try his hand. It's only pistols. The Bulldog does get something done here. Rolling Thunder still available. Upshot goes wide. And again, Winthrop put themselves in a winning situation. But job's not done just yet. Planted. And a 2v3 still very much doable on set of Winthrop. But the lock, I'm gonna get activated. That's huge. And committing to it. And A77's dead. No Hunter Shuri. Absolutely nothing to deal with that one. So they're gonna have to back away. But they're still here on this side. They haven't given up too much. Nazi stopped shooting. Thought the job was done, but still needed to put more work into it. Benji there to capitalize as Comey collects three kills on the round. And Ali. Unfortunately, cracking jokes when the going gets tough. Might not get it done for you in here in this situation. Operator dealt with one more to go. It's moves on the opposite side. But there's just no time. He can only hope to do some damage. Grab an extra ult orb. He'll do just that. He'll pad the stats with the kills, but concede the round. And the operator also goes by the wayside. Trying to stay alive. Not going to be the case for that one in Winthrop. 
they played that post plan so well, especially with the ultimate that we've seen recently for those killjoys. You remember it used to be right on the other side of A, you would pop out that lockdown and it would cover all of uh, long uh, besides that cubby to the left. Recently, you've seen it towards stairs and that means there's more space to take as we got to see the players, two of them towards long, one of them towards showers or one of them towards short and I with that, even with the operator, on the other hand, it's so much difficult to get anything else done. What a different stun this time around. Aggressive. Uh, but I mean, the result is essentially the same. Unfortunately, Comey couldn't even see the assailant there as he gets spammed through the wall inside mid window. So Dip collects an early kill. Ferpsa gonna try his hand. A paranoia used to force him away. And I mean, this is not a round that North would come into with a whole lot to their name, but still the blades, still two rifles and a share. And I mean, it is aggressive, but only from Ali towards mid, ends up getting taken down. And every single time that we see Winthrop on these early rounds, they are expecting that push to come from B. So it was an easy read to deal with. The Omen not gonna be here. Smoke's not gonna be available now for Norfolk. And that's all that space that they're able to take on A. Yeah, Dip's still here, rolling Thunder around the corner as well. Undetected and unaffected was moves. He's gonna find two easy ones as A77 picks up the rear, cleans up the kill on to Benji. And now Ferbsa, who expended a couple of knives earlier in the round, has to hit an absolute highlight reel of a retake if he wants to get it done for Northwood. And if there's a guy who can do it, it's gotta be Ferbsa, but the time against him makes it so much more difficult. Yeah, no dash available. Couple of updrafts, finds the first. Nice little reset there. He's happy to have that one. Spots the shoulder of Flair, who will go with his better judgment to stay tucked away, allow moves to take the fight. And Winthrop University, they bring us within one. Once again, something that I mentioned early on, and moves that sometimes has a slower start, right? When we got to see the semifinals, it was because they were playing split, not their favorite map. He was on the sky, it wasn't comfortable. This time around, just slowly getting the hang of it and slowly being able to win those duels against the Jack on the other side. And doing so very nicely, the score almost tied up. Depending a lot on this buy round, one of those swing rounds that you can see is going to depend on how the half here is going to end up. And this is uh, a play that we've seen a couple of times across the map is Ali, but he's still supporting his team with this smoke that it's forced Winthrop to use so much just to walk inside the lobby. So a dash already down, Cloudburst used, and they're postured up a bit, but they have absolutely no idea where Ferbs is at right now. And with a smoke, yeah, you force that utility on that attacking side and it makes it a lot more difficult to deal with you're also expecting when you see that smoke maybe a jet on the other side maybe that aggression coming through trying to call out some rotations and force those rotations and it seems like it is working out at least early on to the players so we see they're gonna be having to play backside if the hit ends up coming this way and they are just getting picked apart early in this one winthrop Looking to find themselves Ferbsa. a tie game is Ferbsa. Yeah, just goes wide. A, a really strong start, but I mean, just when things get weird for Ferbsa, the rest of the team starts to pick up the pace. Initiated. And now with that is going to be the lockdown. The Komi pretty low as well. He's going to have to protect it with his life. But like you said, I mean, getting picked apart. Oh, wait, no Last way. And the 1v1 one one that we down. wanted to see. see. I, I, and... I'm gonna hold my thought on what just happened because it should not have happened, but the spike is down. Moves has gotta go pick this one up, and fortunately, he comes to the rescue perfectly, and he is stoic sitting there at his setup, just saying, hey, again, job's not done, more rounds to go, but we're all tied up. That is six kills for Moops in the past two rounds, really stepping up, or again, the rounds that matter, once again, forcing an uncomfortable buy to come through for Northwood, and we've seen a lot of those play out. Oh, we just get the end here. There was that little uh, uh, scuttle, the, the little here. back and forth, the skirmish that we saw just outside here. the garage. Uh, Benji walked away with a kill that he had absolutely no right getting there. Fortunately, at the end of the day, it didn't matter. Round so goes away of Winthrop, so they're happy there, counting their blessings. Oh, beautiful reveal, reveal at spots too, but it doesn't matter. Dark is to find the first dip, collects another, and these weapons, they're not too far out of range. And once more, Dryad, they have the spike in an awful position. Nazi on a solo mission here goes in, and unfortunately doesn't make it out. If you want to win a round, you gotta 
go eco because it seems like that is the one win condition that we see for both winthrop and for this round has got to be north with only a 77 incoming alive but they're still dangerous to deal with though the rifles did get recovered on the other side of coming yeah all the way back spotted too gets one standing I mean, there's just so much to get done here for Comey. This is the tallest of Asks players at his back. Now, players right in front. It's Dip and friends. It's the, hello. the family photo. And now he's got an idea of what's going on on the other side. I don't think 55 HP is going to be enough. So he will give himself up the round. It belongs to Northwood University as... Uh, a six of six half is still on the board. Obviously, this the defense half. wants one more. And early on that round, when you see those ecos from Northwood, you know that it's going to be aggressive towards one of those sides. For that round specifically, it was three players on the A side, giving the extra support for Perps to work with with the, both, with the two initiators there, able to help it out. And it's a perfect greed once again on the attacking side. As one by one, they ended up getting taken down. Big round here for Winthrop. Knives, Hunter Shuri from the shadows. We'll see what they can cook up with this. Five players lean out towards C, and a few of them have been spotted. Beautiful paranoia and moves. Just has absolutely no idea where he is on this C site. Nazi walks in and takes two with him as Flair. Wants to find some more, and that's exactly what he'll get. Three kills away of Winthrop University. And they're looking to nod us up here. Spike planted in a 2v4. It was Benji playing around along with Dip, trying to get that lockdown towards that A long. He gets it, but now they're the only ones alive here in a 2v4 to deal with. Yeah, lockdown available, no Hunter Fury. So not bad as, as Dip's already on the site, so they know nobody backside. Rolling Thunder though to try and deal with this one of six seconds on the clock. Benji tries to keep his teammate alive. No way! And he's done so much more than that. A 2v2 now as A77 will finally show himself. Comey also playing in this position. So they only have to worry about C long as Benji gets a spike halfway. Maybe looking to go the rest. I mean, there's just no contention. Comey has to step up and he does not do it. He'll find the kills at the end of the day, but the round goes the way of Northwood. A 2v4 and they're able to get it Northwood. The outside perspective, those changes have been made. Yeah, of course, and you see the adaptation as well from this IGL. Uh, you know, two rounds happen where they struggle, and you see that change right away. And for, for this set of Winthrop, that has been a constant since that semifinals that we got to see on Monday. And of course, it has to be the same thing happening today because Northwood, and they talked about it, they're always willing to try new things. They're always experimenting, even on the fly. And that's how they are a little bit of that unpredictable team in so many different ways. And all quiet here. Winthrop hold their ground to start the defense. And Northwood poking, prodding, trying to find something here. Dip just around the corner, leading the charge. No drone. A couple of shock darts, and it goes to his name. Recon comes through, and the timing's perfect for moves. Had to do that so quickly. There was a turn on the other side. Move swings, gets a kill. But now Northland's starting to wake up to his garage. Yeah, a couple of right clicks later though, and Flair's got himself here in the fight. Odds have been even until Benji jumps into the mix and leaves everything up to A77. I mean, consistent as can be is this player, but still a tough spot retaking this C site with two players in front of him. The smoke that he's gonna have to deal with first. In a 1v2, Paranoid has to back up, trying to waste as much time as possible so from the Sova. And they do a good job with that smoke there from Ali to oh, buy out that second shock dart. Recon Bolt also not used to oh, any man. value here, but it might not matter. It gets close, but Ali again. When the going gets tough, Ali gets going. And you see Ali, when he needs to get those clutches secure that round, he's going to do so. And in a lot of these opportunities, we see him going a little bit more aggressive, especially for a controller player. But when he comes to supporting that team right at the end, he's going to be there. The pistol here secure once again for Northwood as they get to eight. And this was the map, right, that we were expecting for Winthrop. It's the map that they took off of them in the upper finals it's a strong yep. map for them historically but there's a, a lot of work to be done if they are going to take this one away and it's a gamble towards that c site all five players there stacked and slowly realizing there's nothing here but a northfield as well being as careful as they can be towards a 
The more that they're able to keep alive, the better that is going to be Benji. Seeing a little bit more far back, too. And Northwood going to be happy with the outcome here. We'll see if they commit, though. Uh, it dip maybe thinking something different wants to be in the, the safer of the two positions here with that spike. And you see it. The wind is out. The cloud bursts are down. Ferbs is on the site. The rest of Northwood behind him. And well, the gamble does not work for Winthrop University. However, it's uh, a pretty good place for Northwood to be right now. Waiting for around those 50 seconds. And again, playing as, as safe as you can for Northwood. Everybody alive and wealthy. And the Benji that we mentioned early on still here far back. They got to know. They have a right idea where it can be. Yeah, you definitely have to expect this. If that turret is still active, you know that Benji is in the area. So they do good to dig him out. Unfortunately, it's a one-for-one -one trade. And when you're down weapons, you definitely do not want to be even in numbers. As Northwood are looking to push aggressively here, looking to find a couple of players up towards heaven. They might just do that. Nazi gets one back. But Ferbs, at once more, starts to collect. And now it's just walking alt orbs on the side of Winthrop University. Their only way out of this round is through death. This moves will get one more. Dash is his way on in. Will sacrifice his life for the economy. And North would do it again. They find a ninth. With another 3k coming in for Ferbs. But, it, but again, though, the one big thing that really made a difference was Benji holding on to this position. Also for this second round, he's the only player that doesn't buy as match only has a ghost to work with and the full util because he knows the flank is going to come through Winthrop. They always love to do this, especially on this map. Is the reason why it's been so close? They've taken victories on them. They know how to play around it. And Nerf with this, able to put up a challenge onto it early on. But the buy was still expensive. Two rifles inside of Northwood. They're trying to keep it for this round. Yeah, it puts them in a little bit of an awkward spot. You've got a couple of strong points in Benji and Ferbsa, who, I mean, those are the guys you really want to have the weapons the way that they've been playing here in this. On the opposite side, though, this is the round for Winthrop to hold their ground and start to make this come down, chasing four rounds. But a full buy behind him. This was the round that got him going in the first half. We'll see if it continues here in the second. Early on these rounds, we've seen the, the pressure towards Garage on that attacking side. And before there was a turret trying to hold it down. This time around, there was nothing. So a position that can be very beneficial in the long run for Fropsa. Because everybody else is going for that space. I have the spike. And spike not yet committed. Dip will finally have that one in his back pocket, but seemingly walking into a couple of defenders here as they look to split this C site. Paranoia goes across. Flare will send one right back. Shock darts and util to try and push this defense off as Comey will try his hand. Beautiful flash from the backside. Dip, though, still here to collect. The one for one no, the far. Way. No way. Northwood finding kills out of absolutely nowhere, like pulling a rabbit from a hat. But here comes Comey, a magician himself, getting it done. Classic once more. Still ammunition left in the mag. Magazine. It's four kills for the Killjoy moves, makes an appearance, but this round belongs to Komi. And there you go. You get to see the Komi that we saw for that semifinal, for that lower bracket final. That had to step up and did so in a big round like this one, right? You don't want to lose the bonus. They're too strong rifle. As long as you're able to shut it down, the side is still going to belong to that defensive side. So, a nerf with still looking pretty good for this one. The couple ultimates that should be coming soon. You're looking. Try to set up Benji with that lockdown as soon as possible. Ooh, Ferbs, uh, quick out towards A long. Tried to beat the util. He did just that. And he's not by himself. Got Darkest in tow. We'll see what's no used here. Flash available, but it's not going to find Ferbs. Uh, he's here to collect two kills for him. As Darkest stays tucked away. Spike still in hand. Moves backs away safely here on the A site. And part of it is just knowing the enemy team, right? Knowing Winthrop, knowing their patterns so of this time around, they're going to go aggressive. Not expecting all the three to come up, but I mean, you get two, your Ferbs and you're good for it. More than enough has been done towards that A long and a little bit of scary, uncomfortable for this attacking site. Still that upper, that spike stock towards long and yet on the other side waiting for that swing. And Darkus has Util in hand. Paranoia goes out, moves, eventually affected by that one just on the tail end. But it's upside. It doesn't matter. Comey tries to hang on. 
picks up the kill onto Dip. Unfortunately, with his teammate in moves falling, he has to give up the site. But here comes the fast flank, and here it comes. But there it goes. Flare's been dealt with. Comey left in a difficult situation himself, much like the first pistol round we've seen. A 1v3. He pulled the rabbit out of the hat in the last round. Uh, that seems a little out of reach here in this one. And for the retake, when there's only two players alive, one of them pushing from that flank, the timing for both of them has to be almost perfect. Not the case as we got to see Flair getting taken down. Expected that flank and Komi also going down. Double digits now for no Northwood. Yeah, double digits. That lead stays at four for Northwood. It also resets the economy completely. Uh, we talked about that bonus round maybe being the oomph that Winthrop needed and unfortunately it seems to be anything but that. I do want to jump back a couple of rounds ago to the round that Comey got a 4K. I yeah. didn't even realize that he snap flicked to I think the uh, the rifle of Flare who died to get more ammunition instead of reloading and then ended up finding that fourth kill. It was a heads up play for Comey. We didn't really get a chance to talk about it. It kind of got you know, overshadowed by the mm -hmm. dominant uh, Northwood round in the last. And for the first time here, we also get to see a timeout coming from Winthrop, a, a team that has always been good on Haven, and, and also a team that when they're able to grab some momentum, they're gonna hold on to it. So the next couple rounds to get the momentum to even secure this map and even build up into the second are gonna be crucial for this squad. And there's a couple tools to do so, right? You mentioned Komi. The lockdown here is going to be available. But Northwood, they, it seems like they've been waiting for that opportunity to go a little bit more aggressive into the early round. We got to see it on that last round towards A long, just pushing forward and going to for that utility usage. But now there's a Rolling Thunder too, and I feel like one of the win conditions can be even holding onto it for that post plant that Northwood would like to have. And North would definitely have options. They've also got rounds to play with. They're just around the corner from a, a few alts as well. So much like you mentioned, right? Darkest looks to invest the Rolling way. Thunder here in this one. Yeah. And we'll have a lockdown available for the next. And, and Northwood are not without options. As Moobs goes aggressive, alt of his own. Those knives have been dealt with. Ali with the high ground expecting something cheeky. Coming out of that timeout and... Oh, a couple he of cheats just, just around the corner. He yeah. just knows every single time that we see that we see one of those first kills coming from Ali, he's waiting for that swing to happen, for that positioning. Again, it is the eco round, so you are expecting that aggression. But I mean, the kills need to connect perfectly, and they're doing so just now. Yeah, 877 getting a little bit of damage, trying to pad the stats to the average so damage per round there with the shock darts. He's been good with those shock darts, unfortunately. Needed Player to be standing. great, needed to be <laughs> exceptional here in this one. Comey gets one on the way out, but Northwood just around the corner Amateur. from another round secured. Nazi will find the first, but it would be uh, a difficult ask for him to get any more than this here. Smoke subsides. Spike has since been planted high low and dealt with perfectly. Dip will find that one. Send Nazi pack in five rounds. Now the lead here for Northwood University. And uh, we, we heard from Coach Ming, right? Uh, Fisher and Sully had asked, hey, how do you deal with a player like Ferbsa who just goes crazy, right? This guy's just going absolutely bananas. And he gave uh, a solid plan, right? We either avoid that guy or we dump everything into that guy. Well, Ferbsa's is attacking right now, right? You you can't go fishing to find out where, uh, where Ferbsa is. He has taken the fight to you. There is no avoiding right this jet player by any means. At 22 and 12, he sits comfortably atop the scoreboard beautiful reveal though they they know that this lean is out towards eight for now and look at this they are starting to dump things out this way two players though and they've been dealt with Burbsa even collects a kill out towards long four defenders were fighting for this a site three have been erased and moves might just join them two kills to his name as he takes his leave and Comey once more in a situation that seems far from winnable Moob just stopped there. It is still able to respond in time, but everybody else from that team of Winthrop just in trouble. They had the right idea. Three players on the A side early on, and yet no chance against Ferbs out the two kills that we got to see. And Elite as well that has stepped out throughout this first map. More and more that we get to see from this guy. And of course, he's going to get that last kill, the Omen.
coming through. And one of the things that I like Match to see point. from Alita Mills is the utility usage from this Omen is so clean. The coordination that Northwood has is unmatched right now as they get to 12. Yeah, poor Gompers. Gompers started strong. She had the presentation. She said, hey, Haven is where we're going to get it done. This is where Winthrop gets some uh, wind beneath their wings because they are the Eagles. And, uh, Does she still want to see a Haven three times? Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know if, yeah, she still wants to see the, the Haven three times. We are uh, just around the corner from an early exit here from Haven as uh, four alts online for Northwood with one round to go and a spike planted uncontested to the lockdown for lockdown uncontested I spoke a little too soon out comes a hunter fury dip gonna try and deal with this one rolling thunder comes through and they're trying to beat the lockdown once more but Benji does it again keeps his teammate alive and with that Northwood a player ahead spike planted and they're all set up to take this one home. Ferbs uh, collects another kill for Northwood as A77 finds his way to the kill feed through Hunter Fury, but that's not going to be enough. Dip finds two. Ferbs uh, closes us out, and it's dominant. The position that they played for the upper final. That time when they played, it was a 13 7 going for the side of Northwood. Uh, but the one thing that is going to be the one win condition is shutting down that jet entry, both from moves and from dip. And that's going to be the role in so many scenario stores that B side uh, off the ciphers and what they can do with the trap wires being a little bit more creative and trying to slow things down. Yeah, definitely looking, uh, you know, to transition from IGLs into those Sentinel players. Rip Benji is a uh, a pretty hammered out sentinel player that's it that's kind of the role that he fills for his team meanwhile on the other side the sentinel for this map it isn't comey who historically or, or usually the majority of the time plays that it's a 77 so we will see how they play off of that utility first little bit though as he yeah. plays across the map trap wire to spot the attack for now winthrop looking to find ways into a main they'll be met by three players northwood we're ready here for this one, A77. We talked about what his utility might be, unfortunately. Not gonna be a whole lot here in this one as the crunch comes through the A site. Moves is trying to fight his way back into this one. Spike is planted, two line up, Moves knocks him down. And this one suddenly dry up becomes winnable for Winthrop. And the plan, even from the beginning, was good. Taking that north and that south part of the map. A 2v2 to deal with and a retake as well for the pistol. Yeah, all he heard on the drop. Good shots from Nazi. He wants to try and find some more as Benji backs away, expecting the push from moves. It did not matter. Four kills in the pistol and Winthrop strike early. And a move starting hot early for this one. Pistol round going to the side of Winthrop. With a really good idea towards the beginning, they have two players in the side of the part in the map. They try to take the host control on A and they play for that timing to break uh, what you saw that Cypher Yuto towards Dish, and then they go in all the wraparound to get that spike planted and play for post. A good pistol here, taking into account that the ones that we saw on the map number one didn't really go the way of this Winthrop squad. And you want to start strong for this one. Yeah, a, a strong start and a strong purchase here in round two moves. Bringing a rifle into this one. We'll see if they can walk out with it. Well, and speaking of walking, I mean, we've got five players here from Winthrop, but on the top side of the map, they're getting lots of info. And this is something that with that U2, A77 was going to know, but still, Spike gonna get planted. The two players that were on B end up backing up. Yeah, Benji can only hope that somebody pushes up into the towers as he plays and holds his ground with the shorty. Verbs to find the first kill. Here on the round, but Winthrop starts to fight back the pistols. Doing the trick for just a moment. But again, moves lines of mob. He wants another 4K. He'll get another 4K. And that's going to be those eight kills in the first two rounds of Fracture. Haven was not going to longer be that possibility, but Fracture is a reset and another story. We got to see moves as the team was chatting, was talking a little bit in between those maps. And, and you can see this guy is so calm. He's looking down, he's listening, he's talking a little, giving a little comments. But when it comes to going in for this map and for this match, the way that he's playing is insane because of that blade storm going to be available for him. Going to be right in. Get right on into it here. Not slowing down at all. He's tossed over that rifle as well. Unfortunately, the knives have been dealt with. Winter, we're hoping to get a bit more. I mean, Ferbs, it gets another one on the way out. Two kills 
The way of the raise here for Northwood. Flair, though, fights his way in. Oh, no! It gets weird for a second, but another multi-kill from a duelist of Winthrop finds himself in the driver's seat again, Dryad. And for a second, you see moves, you see him going in and playing that aggressive style that we talked about. It seems like it was going to be even overheating with those knives, but the rest of the team is there right behind him to back him up and get this 3v1 going. Benji, he's been good for this clutch. He's been good for these situations, but this one, a little bit more difficult as time runs out. is a retake to deal with. He's got good damage. Unfortunately, that has not been enough for the round. Beautiful stun there. The fault line from Nazi secures him an assist. Flair will also hop in the assist column. Comey collects a kill. And it's now three in a row for Winthrop University. One of the conversations that we had for that final of the lower bracket was if Winthrop, that has always been good, right? They win those matches constantly. They made it all the way here, but something that they had to work on was a move that sometimes was going alone, mm -hmm. getting taken down, and then there was no response. The team was not able to be right behind him on time, but now we have Flair who's able to satchel in it and give that extra support and everybody kind of been adapting to this. We got to see it on Monday and we get to see you for that round too. Yeah, Moobs talked about it in saying, my team just sets me up. We, we, they understood just as much as we did, right? An outside perspective could see that Moobs is sometimes on an island. Ooh, Ollie oh, almost sent a, a few, uh, not to an island, but maybe into the clouds. Unfortunately, gets nothing there. It's the defense stacked heavy on the opposite side of the map. Slowly but surely work their way back towards the safe side. Not a whole lot to work with, but I mean, sticks and stones is seemingly all Northwood needs from map one to map two as Darkest finds that one. We saw a bunch of eco rounds on that first map, but on this one, it does become a lot more difficult. Lee goes down, no smokes for that brimstone, and the rest is the other patient that the rest for the 4v3 can make. I mean, yeah, it's getting scary though, until Nazi finally gets his hands on the so round. Good. He'll find three of them. And I'm sweating a little bit. I am sweating a little bit after that one. Winthrop, they eventually get it done. It looks scary there for a moment. Finally, though, round five, Northwood will have a full buy. Rifles in hand, but look at those ultimates there, Dryad. Weak. And this is where it gets interesting. Early into the first couple rounds, we got to see a potential kill for Ferbsa, and this is something that he does so great. He is that player that is always going to be on that duelist role, and going to be on this race for this scenario when it comes to when it comes to the average damage that he's able to make, to getting those kills with the pain shells, to getting those kills even with that showstopper. He's going to be ready for it. So a swing round and a massive one for Northwood if they want to get something going over here. And they put an operator in the hands of Tip. We'll see if that can find some value as it leans out towards the B site for now. Winthrop seemingly threatening the top side of the map here in this drop position. Moves. Operator as well. We'll see what he finds. Spots one takes him down. Healthy as can be as he continues to push his way on through. Beautiful ultimate dropping the base there for Flair. He finds two kills. And this one, this one's done and dusted, Dryad. Now I was talking about Furbtab with that showstopper, but it was the side of Winthrop and Flair being able to secure two right there. Give that space in a scenario that maybe changes something that we were mentioning, right? The support that you often see for moves. This time around, he was all by himself with the operator. It was all about the timing, making a little bit of noise towards Dish for him to swing and get the kill with the op. That's all the space that the side of Winthrop needed. And in order with, for the first time on this match, we get to see them forced to save. I mean, just really no option. Winthrop, economy across the board, economy of plenty. They're going to go on the hunt. The dash doesn't get the job done. Comey there to collect two kills on the way out. Most importantly, continuing to damage this Northwood economy. The attacking side, something that before on this matchup, the first time that the two teams face each other for the best of five, we didn't get to see much of on the side of Winthrop. It was the the early disadvantage that they took on that defense side and they could not recover. So now it's a different story. They, they get to show some of the many ideas that they have with the Rolling Thunder that was available since that last round. Staying alive for this one. And it's just been that space so clean for it. Ooh, moves getting slowed down. Dip gonna try his hand, both duels out that way, Rolling Thunder comes through. Ferbsa has been 
erased. Still defender so here on this B side. It's Winthrop leading this way. Again, the weapons aren't the best, but the knives from Dip could be everything they need as a couple get expended. I mean, but you get spotted towards dies and need to back up. But two players there trying to have an impact. It's so difficult. Breach, breach. Good shots there from A77, finding that kill onto Darkest. He's a 2v4 in tight. And Benji is just so far from the play. There is still life in this one, though. Blades are still available. Now they're gone. Flair will find the next Ali. Only able to collect one in the endeavors. They quickly take position on this B site, and Benji will be walking away across the map. Ultimate available, surely for another round. Can only really pray for some damage. But the economy is just so good on the side of Winthrop. They might even go hunting for Benji just because. I mean, they did that before in that last round. And there was economy for this one. There isn't, but it's still a Benji. That goes down in a second round in a row. Nothing to be found for Northwood. And we haven't seen the timeout. We haven't seen them even needing to do so for the first map. But this one, it's a crucial point that it gets to on the first half. Even with all the confidence that the squad has on the attacking side, you need to secure, you know, at least four or five. And it gets... A little bit more risky. Yeah, there it is. There's a timeout, but actually coming through from Winthrop. Yeah, I'm trying to... Now the conversation is, how do we keep this going, right? It, what we saw working in some of the buy rounds in catching Northwood off guard out towards the safe site, Moobs being aggressive, you can't do that now that Moobs has this operator. So I'd imagine there's going to be talks about how do we continue with this operator? How do we get Moobs into the play without being that tip of the spear? Or do we look to keep Moobs as the tip of the spear, let this operator start to sing in, in one of the spots on the map, and then make a, a play behind it? I think you expect explosiveness from Winthrop University with this composition, the way that they play this map. It, it's very hard to do so when he's got that scope rifle. And even then, for Winthrop, for most of the maps that we get to see, this is a team that on the attacking side, they like to slow things down. They often are expecting that aggression from that defense, especially here in Fracture, right? If it's going to happen, it's going to be there. But on this map, they're giving no chances to do anything else. The map control early into the round just looks so beautiful. Even if it's going to be the, all the five players pushing from one side, they're making sure that the side for Yuto is going to be able to catch somebody on the defense, making those rotations and making that job just a lot more difficult. And with no killjoys on the map, there's a lot more freedom with the orbital strikes as they're expecting some type of aggression out towards a main boom bot used and nobody's home there's a stack actually with four players close to the b side and, and this is something that they did before it was from a to b but not from b to a trying to take a little bit more of that north part of the map but again the cypher yuto is going to be so good for it a good shot there. Not many spots. This could be it. He hits a crazy shot. He wants more. But Moobs will make sure he's limited to just the first two. But, I mean, damage done. Orbital Strike used. Beautiful stun. This will be another one. Surely, Komi has no way out. And a round that was explosive out towards the A site ends with A77 left all in his lonesome in a 1v3. And when you have that info for Ali, it gets a lot easier to use the Orbital Strike. And that's a point here for this matchup. There's no kill juice. You don't have to save the ultimate. You can save it for when you hear that spike getting planted. Make sure that they cannot run away. Maybe a little bit of combination of utility for the kills. Finally, the round finally comes the way of Northwood as they get the first. And Northwood are finally on the board. And I mean, believe it or not, it comes off the back end of a Winthrop timeout, who again, uh, they had their deliberation about how do we keep this moving forward. I don't think you can, uh, you can't, there's nothing, you can't calculate what Dip is about to do in that round, right? That first kill, sure, he's holding a tight angle, whatever it is. Flare comes flying through, Dip breaks his wrist to yeah. hit that second that kill. Nobody's insane, expecting that. That was insane, man. That was insane yeah. to see it. But uh, also definitely a weird time out that, that came from Winthrop. I was mentioning if you're expecting it from somebody who's in Northwood that haven't asked for any timeouts on this matchup just yet, but aggressive here with the Rolling Thunder is going to be dark as they managed to get two. And it's been seven rounds just about where Northwood haven't been able to make the right call in, in which part of the map they want to fight forward. They've been fighting for this space, but nobody's been home. Now they finally have a few players here 
But after trading a couple of kills, they finally get punished for it. I know exactly where you are. Ooh, and that's going to give heaps of information out here to Winthrop. And with the possibility of Dip being behind and trying to get something, it was going to be difficult anyways with the Typher setup. But the new filter makes it pretty much impossible. Has to go all the way around as the same ultimate comes on the other side. A 3v2 to deal with Northwood on the lead. Spike not planted just yet in 45 seconds to work with. Yeah, that was Spike in hand. And Benji gets a miracle kill through the smoke. Finding a free one. Three players one tucked remaining. away in this one. I mean, not even three players need a dip. Not a part of the equation as Darkest and Benji hold it down. And now things are starting to get scary. Winthrop are starting to hear the footsteps of Northwood as Northwood are creeping up behind him. And, and it goes back to you, something that we mentioned it is that momentum that Winthrop is able to get. And for how long are you able to hold it, right? Because we've seen it even on that first match. We remember a Lotus, we remember a Haven where... It was a Winthrop that got that momentum, they held onto it, but sometimes they lose it right at the end. And it can be, for this half, something that Northwood is trying to do as slowly all the players start to wake up, they get the win condition, they get those ultimates rotating more for them. Oh, what a play here, Judge in hand, but Knives are even better as Ali. Gonna try and buy some space, buy some time. Both duelists look to go up, but they're ripped from the sky. Ferbsa collects two kills before he eventually gets traded. And again, an even position here. Last time Northwood found a kill onto Comey, who was holding the spike. This time they're allowed onto the site. And it gets messy. It gets a little bit more chaotic the more rounds that we get to see for the 3v3. Forces that swing and Ali goes down. Yeah, Ali falls. Good util usage there. The Molly down forces his hand in the position two players were looking that way. Rip Benji bringing up the rear. Out goes the cage. Unfortunately, out goes Benji and Winthrop. We're gonna put another one here in the wind column. The op has been dropped. Dip. And to try his hand with the rifle. They've got economy to buy up into the next couple of rounds. As he stands inside the smoke, that'll be the end of it. Winthrop finally stopped this string of rounds put together by Northwood, and they find their seven. Uh, obviously, with this double duelist composition that you see from both of the sides, the attacking side has to be the best, but for Winthrop, you can see how much they've been preparing for this one. We got to see it a little bit yesterday, but it, the, the coordination is there, and something that we got to hear in the halftime interview before was a, a key point of making sure that you're not throwing those big rounds. Winthrop has done a good job. Part of it could have been even the timeout. And yeah, it, it forces and gives that round for Northwood, but the adaptation is always there. He's always proactive on the attacking side. And same for this defense. Looking in so many of these plays to play for that contact. What a shot there, Ferbs. Just a little high on the crosshair placement. Stinger. Can't quite do the job there for Darkest, but he finds a bit of damage as he backs away. A kill traded, or, well, a kill traded for some damage, and it's favorable for Winthrop. Yeah, see inside of this smoke. Make a choice, thunder. man. Make a choice, man. <laughs> Back and forth between the flash, the fall line, the rifle. Yeah, the Rolling Thunder Game's here is going to be available as well. And again, just a Winthrop doing a good job of Forcing that play for contact and then shutting down every single player that comes their way that time around towards the dish was Ferbsa. And they're still quiet here. Here comes that Rolling Thunder into the spawn. Darkest. Well, it's actually Ali who is not long for this world. Darkest allowed to survive behind the smoke. Stunned up but not taken down. Unfortunately, two of three players uh, have good weapons. Dark is still, is still sitting on that stinger, and that is not a weapon you want to have in a retake situation unless Dip can get you going nice and early, and when you challenge moves like that, you let him sit on the angle. He's going to make sure that you do not survive the round. Make sure that there's no chance for that one. An operator, though, in the hands of Darkest, trying to back up. Ends up getting uh. taken down, and so is Benji. The eighth round here for Winthrop. And a ninth maybe just around the corner, right? Finding those kills on the way out, Northwood have not been able to save anything. So they've been stuck in that teeter-totter, right? Of buy round, save round, buy round, save round. They put a couple together after a timeout, but now they're right back to it. This round is going to be sheriffs. Stay down. And the Ecos that on this map for Northwood, they have not been the best. You're okay. good for a couple, Time but that is about it. Winthrop just ready for it. And you, you can tell that reset that has come through for this team. Maybe we didn't win on our first and best map, but this one can be the new best map that they have and so on. 
with four players now on the north bar. And the defense again wanting to go aggressive. Moves waiting for it. it. Moves is the only one here. Things get weird, but he finds a kill. He's happy to have that one. Refuses to give up just yet, but he's pushed from the opposite side. So one and done is moves, but a weapon now in the hands of Dip Ali has also gotten some damage dealt with that marshal, but the site's been taken here for Winthrop. My planet, my ult's ready. And on the other side of Dark, is it has to wait just for a little bit longer for everybody else on the team that tried and go for that pinch to come into the site. A lot of util expended, both incendiary and paint shells out. Northwood still finding ways to grab kills. Orbital Strike comes through as well. A tap onto the spike is 877. Tries to fight his way back into this one. And Northwood, I mean, we talked about Moobs being a criminal, but Northwood is the one who's stealing away rounds. And stealing those final Three. rounds that they have here on Fracture is what Northwood is trying to do. Scott. One more would be ideal, but uh, Winthrop that has not made those rounds easy at all for them. Now Even for this one, it takes a clutch. It takes those three here. kills from Ali to step up and make a difference. And, and I feel like this is now when you're looking at uh, the, the biggest almost fear that Northwood had is we played these maps so many times we've gone into so many best yeah. of fives we've gone to distance with a couple of teams teams really know what we play and how we play and you can say and you can tell that Winter has been studying it just that last round of the half Herb still looking to get aggressive a flash will keep him at bay good dash to safety for moves out go the paint shells and it's a bloodbath here inside arcade as flare will try to with the rocket of his own but everybody survives the base drop only one player dies it's comey to eventually fall winthrop start a player down and darkest does it again and that is massive as well forbes out stuck behind that and darkest goes massive to help him out and the shorty just not gonna be enough there beautiful rolling thunder they've got the read and they close out the half flawlessly chasing four rounds our northwood university position as well the aggressive space that Northwood tried to take to make sure that pinch is not a possibility nobody else was gonna go down so the re rifles they get to see another day and with that round three with the rolling thunder for darkest it's yeah. pretty good <laughs> yeah darkest happy to have that one uh, and much like you mentioned right three yeah. rifles come over uh, another one making its yeah. way into the fold so four rifles in what's supposed to be the bonus round they are looking to make sure and they can make this comeback swiftly here Winthrop will try their hand with their first buy. A77, good with the Sheriff the last couple of rounds. Now has a Vandal Found you. to try and find the same success. And that's a great start playing off his own util. An attempt as well to take control of that north part by Winthrop. But three, then two players for the Cypher spawning them. But still a dip that goes down and Spike planted. Spike planted, Spenji, the only one without a rifle flare. We'll find a second kill on this one. And I mean, the attack, they're all off the side here, playing out towards Arcade. Benji hasn't been spotted. The dash comes through and moves. Will turn around and recollect what he had seen previously. Now, Ferb's going to try his hand as he spams his way through the sky smoke. Comey on the spike kill. Starting to be found, though, for Northwood. As the spike will go halfway. Ali just out of reach. Paint shells available, and you don't have time to give up these kills. Firmsa hangs on. Paint shells look to get it done. It's halfway as Ali will now try his hand, and Northwood do it again. With another 4v2, we've seen a couple of those where you have the man advantage for Winthrop, and still is not enough to close it out. Moves for the time against him, trying to make that clutch happen, but the swing just in time and too good and out of nowhere things get a lot closer right you get that bonus that is a seventh round for north within the economy broken we can see a war with things were tied up and you see it in the replay there that is why ferbs uh, regarded as the best didn't have his paint shells found a kill through smoke stop somebody Insane. pushing and found another one gets the paint shells online and immediately uses that bit of util chips off more time on the clock forces the hand of winthrop and eventually forces the round in favor of northwood university who have reset this defense and well nazi looked for a little bit found some good damage but pays for it with his life and that is calling some rotation towards that a side you see right there doesn't leave that some staying for a little bit longer. And that is exactly what Northwood wanted. Call some rotations, make that B entry just a little bit easier to them entering from Arcade. The spike is coming this way. 
Only one defender, but Comey proves to be just enough. Good trap wire. Can Comey sneak away from this one? He's got another smoke to play with. Incendiary available. We'll see if that finds any value here in this round. Neural Theft also available for A77, so should they need information if they could find a body warm enough, but that one body is being held on to. Ali won't give up this spot for free. Flash comes out, three players push this way. Flare gets one back, and two for two is where we land. But unfortunately, the weapons still aren't the best. Rolling Thunder comes through and finds absolutely nobody with the blades. Dark is up close and personal, and that shorty, man, that <laughs> weapon is just way too much. As Comey backed away by the Aftershock, and he is not long for this world. It's low HP, but there's just no way back in for this guy. Unfortunately, Winthrop, they'll try their hand. The shorty won't get it done. Benji does, however. And from an 8-4 half, Dryad, we are all tied up. We're not getting the message. And even though it was a little bit more expensive, there were only two players staying alive. The plan was able to be executed. The way that Northwood wanted from beginning to end, they get some info. Somebody's going to be pushing Arcade. They hide behind that box. And with that, even as the swings come through, the duels go the way of this attacking squad. Showstopper here going to be available, but a couple more that are going to be up and the table right as well. There's going to be at least Orbital Strike and even the neutral death for that extra info. A chance here to take that lead. Let's see if the high ground has been read. It is, but Verbsa, unfortunately, does not find the better half of Flare. Darkest there for the trade, and A77 continues to remain consistent, finds his one, but how much more can they do? The three remaining attackers here on the top side of the map, they're trying to walk their way out, but Nazi's not going to let them. And now is when the fast pace doesn't actually work out. A lot of those individual duels end up getting lost. The 2e4, and they've won those before, but dip goes down, and it's all up to Darkest. And hey, this guy's done crazier things. We have seen Darkest do some crazier things. Uh, we've also, I don't know if we've seen crazier trap <laughs> wires. <laughs> This one, that's uh, just making sure. Yeah, 100%. It's a <laughs> good geometry there from A77 showing us how things work with the Cypher. Either way, A77 remains consistent, finds three huge kills so in a round that meant more than anything. It was just four in a row, plus the, the two in a row, right? So six in a row uh, from fir first half to second half for Northwood University. Winthrop seemed like they did not have an answer for it. They finally get rifles and they put another in the wind column. They stopped the bleeding just a bit. But not only the rifles, also the Operator 4 moves, something that was not able to keep up. be a possibility yeah. at all after losing that bonus, losing those couple rounds in a row. Watch now moves smoke. with the Operator on that defensive side. You don't know where this guy is going to be. This round is going to be a completely alone, but it's a heavy stack because of that. Just waiting around towards B, giving that space a willing to play around that info that they get and that push that comes from the side of Northwood. What is Dip hoping for here? Two away from the blades will be allowed the first orb. Let's we'll see if he can go around the world for another. Four, obviously, to pick up here on Fracture. But for now, Northwood hold their ground on the top side of the map. Spike still leaning this way as well. Moves is slowly taking space. And because of all of this silence, Winthrop actually think, yeah, that the play is happening out towards the safe site, but that's not what's going on. Flare now going to try his hand. Rocket comes through, doesn't find the kill. It's good damage, but it's not enough to find the frag. Good damage in response, though, through the walls. Comey going to find the kill. It allows for Flare to go back up top and off the top ropes. He finds a kill onto Furbsa, but the trades are there. The player was the only player that stayed towards this B side. Was able to secure one for satcheling just on top. But going aggressive and dark has just insane once again. One tap, one kill. That's all you need for the 3v2. A77 and Komi, the last one's alive. Yeah, A77 still here and will still try his Launching hand. He's going to go fishing looking for Darkest, but they gave up absolutely nothing. And it looks like Ollie might be backing away. Looking to play lineups. He gets caught with you till out, but he still gets the incendiary down. A tap on the spike. Aftershock to come through as well. And again, it's a problem with the clock. And now a problem with uh, Kobe only having 36 HP. And yeah, he's got to get out of dodge. All the ults, all the util used on the side of Northwood University, but they do so in securing the round. Insane calling for those rotations. Uh, uh, that was what really secured that round for the side of Northwood. And once again, they tied things up nine to nine. 
But it was a stack that we saw early on with four players. No, nobody playing up close, nobody playing towards tower. They were playing more reactive. They don't hear anything. They didn't spot anything. They go all the way, eh? And even though those rotations here on Fracture are quick, they're not quick enough to secure it. For the last couple players alive. Once again, another chance to see if Northwood can take that lead or is going to be continuing that domination of that back and forth for Winthrop that could eventually close out the map for them. And three alts available on the side of Winthrop. A77's been sitting on that Neural Theft for quite some time, but an orbital strike and flare with that showstopper. Could be potent in a retake or trying to stop or maybe split up a Northwood push here who shows early signs of aggressions out towards B. A smoke keeps him at bay and all five on the bottom side Get of the map. Of Only Moves is here to receive. And it was the same as that last round, but Moves now being the right place, right time. And a crazy angle that picks so kill that has to work. A dip out on the site moves will give up his position. Nobody here planted on the A site for the defense, so it has been taken with ease by Northwood University. And this puts you in a scary spot. Ooh, Ali looking to commit that one there. Orbital strike won't find enough damage to grab the kill. Does force him push forward just a bit moves goes aggressive and dark is there to deal with him dip now gonna try his hand right click goes wide flare to answer back all for all for the kill feed it's a carnival of death here on the a site but who is pushing the buttons it's winter university one player ahead is Ferpsa tries his hand at the first util out and comey's on the swing but it doesn't matter they're shut down nazi with a huge round welcome back to the server the igl of winthrop picks up three and winthrop grabbed the lead again a clean retaking that green bite after that relling thunder comes in from nasi but the two players separated isolated and a firm side that had to look to the right side to the left side and it was not enough it was not in time so yeah we keep this back and forth with the winthrop getting those double digits first on this map of fracture Oh, and the ideas were good. Northwood, they had a good indication of where that jet could be on the other side. Get smoked, they get that spike planted. And even in a weird positioning, knowing the Orbiter Strike was going to come through. Everything seemed to be according to plan, but the retake was just way stronger. And now the weaponry. A, a scary arsenal. Uh, we were introduced to this arsenal on Haven. It was Ferbsa, however, who had the Guardian in hand. This time, Dip going to be wielding that rifle. The rest of the team just upgraded pistols. Good Sky Smoke out from Comey. We'll slow the attack down for now. We'll see when that go button is eventually hit. Oh, and we've seen so many different versions of, of the early rounds. The, the first time of the, the round ends up looking like for Northwood. But it's quiet for this one, and it is a... Benji, that is, was completely left alone on B, slowly trying to get space, but giving that respect. Dip on the angle. Ooh, op shot from Moobs. That one doesn't land. The second one also goes wide. Northwood counting their blessings as Ferbsa and Ali allowed onto this site. Trap wire spotted once more. A77. Uh, the value there still escaping him here, and it's been quiet to get us started, but finally that spike looking to get planted. Look at the delay, though. Aftershock came through. Darkest couldn't get it down. Rolling Thunder now as a fight inside the spawn ensues. Spike planted. Winthrop working against the clock as Comey goes aggressive, finds the head of Darkest, but wants some more. Smokes are coming down. The push onto the side is here from Winthrop, and everybody starts to get cut down as Dip will try and hang on, but he is too far away from the action. Seven kills in the last two rounds for Nod as they find another for Winthrop University. And again, when this guy has to step up, he's going to do so for that 11th round to go the side of Winthrop. A clean retake once again, as it seems like the squad, yeah, they struggle at the beginning, they lose the bonus on the second half, but then they start to adapt, and this is something that is all the credit to Nasi. Leaving these rounds off to the retake and overwhelming that pressure that post plan the Northwood wanted to bring to them. This is what Winthrop was doing yesterday or was doing on Monday when they were playing Fisher. It was leaving those retakes and expecting those aggressive positions across all, every single map that we get to see. And it ended up working out for them. That's why they're here.
Northwood will have another chance at it here. Economy not great, so walking out of this one, if you do so in loss, can be put in a rough okay. spot the last round of the map, but none of that matters now. Flair gonna try his hand, finds a kill onto Darkus, immediately answered back though. And I mean, Northwood aren't out of this one just yet. Paint shells come across the site here. On the B site, Nazi sits on a Rolling Thunder Aftershock on Ali, doesn't actually land on him, Nazi does it again! Seven kills in the last two rounds, puts two more together, leaves it all up to Benji. Two players still alive, both of which pushing through this B site, and Benji gonna have to try and hang on. A tap on the spike, as the op will hold the angle. Nazi, just giving himself up, standing on top of it, allows for the spam. Benji gonna have to do it again though, Cam is out, moves is off. Takes on the cam, does it once more. Benji refusing to give up the angle. Moves gonna have to make the play. He pushes through with the shorty, but Benji gets it done. No way, that's how he plays out at the end. Moves goes in, has to play aggressive, and ends up getting taken down. The shorty too strong as a secondary weapon in Northwood. They get to stay alive on this map, avoiding that map point from Winthrop. What a play once again from Benji, the player that we mentioned in the map number one was a key part of the success. And here is being the exact same thing. Wow, that is heartbreaking there. Winthrop wishing they could get that round back, but wow, yeah. have to put it behind them as once more Northwood pressure this B site, two defenders here in A77 and Comey. How can they deal with this one? Nazi quick on the response, but I mean, even quicker up in the tower. Both duelists are here. They force A77 away. The boom bot not quite giving up his position just yet. Verbs to find the first. Call me surely going down next. The two for one trade as Nazi postures here on this site. But Northwood, they second guess this push and they look to go elsewhere. And they take that tower control early on. They get that one kill into a 77 that was doing everything right, it seems like, but now they cut noise. Oh, they spot huge. the player still so winnable. A 3v3 as Flair gets that one. Yeah, uh, a round, however, right with 50 seconds on the clock, you cannot let Northwood plant. Orbital Strike available, Incendiary, Aftershock, all the util they need for the post and they're walking off the B-side, Dryad. They, they force those rotations as well. The only one making noise here, giving those steps is Benji. That Sentinel, and in the meantime, that spike is gonna be planted towards B. Benji ends up going down. 30 seconds left. But the retakes recently have been so good for Winthrop. They can win this one too. No way, Knife foul, Darkest, what are you doing, buddy? No he gets way. immediately taken down. Flair will follow, and Moobs will try his hand. A 1v2. Away from map point versus a 2v1. Away from tying us up. And Moobs has an operator. He spotted Ali. Ali gonna... No, he doesn't give himself up. Moobs is letting it slip away. A stun will keep him at bay. But one HP triad. He is... I mean... What do you do? Do you save the op? You have zero credits going into the next round. There's just nothing. You have to save the op. As the time was even running out. The spy got planted. The North would they get to once again make things even 11 to 11 what a play and again it is calling and forcing those rotations from the defense that ends up allowing the spike to be planted i mean the plays are so aggressive for Northwood. they go right into the spawn the defense not even expecting it at all knife at hand gets to darkest uh the star player here as well there I mean, and the cherry on top is in that post plant, Darkus went and, and took care of all the work, right? They didn't have to use any of the U2. They didn't have to use the orbital strike. That is still available for either another post plant for Northwood or to allow Dip and Ferbsa to safely push some of these areas, right? Yeah. There's so many options. We talked about it earlier. With no Killjoy, the freedom of the orbital strike it's it's endless the options that you have and and ali is still sitting on that one that could be huge to swing this game in favor of northwood for the first time dryad and, and knowing and looking at the the way that ali has been playing this guy is so aggressive he's playing control there you expect him to play a little a little bit more far back but he's going in so maybe even expecting what you said out of the many possibilities is using that border strike for example to go into tower to go into main make sure that nobody on the defensive side is holding up close especially with the danger that moves can be with his operator that he got to save yeah, it's northwood here taking a timeout as we are tied up at 11. A reminder that map one 
was a pretty dominant map. It was uh, not something we were expecting. Winthrop give that one up 6-13 to 13 in favor of Northwood University. We jump into map two and things are completely different. Both teams putting it on here on Fracture. And it's early aggression with the operator moves. Looking for something out towards B main with A77 in tow. And this is different. How many rounds have we seen that end up on that B side, right? The possibility is still going to be there, but the heavy presence towards same means there's more space, more space for the defense to get this. And there's a trap right behind, but there's two players that can be doing the wraparound. Yeah, Komi gets one too. I mean, that should that kill should just not happen, right? They know that Komi is there. They jump onto the site. Dip gets dealt with. Fortunately, it's been traded. Uh, even is better in this Five round for Northwood as everybody on Winthrop starts to work their way on the bottom side of there's the map. There's three there. There's just three players. Oh, beautiful shot. So moves. I mean, moves one of the three. But look at this orbital strike used beautifully. And Benji there to capitalize off of it. Last round, it was one HP. This time, it's seven. And moves is forced to save once more. Benji on that position right behind and tucking that corner. He was pretty much set up for a one and done. Yet he still manages to get two. There's a little bit of chaos. That orbital strike helping out. Match point. But a north with that finally turn things around they take the lead for the first time and it is for that map point yeah for the first time and it's round 23 the, the map that was seemingly going the way of winthrop as soon as they had a grasp on this northwood attack and they let it slip away northwood however round after round now jumping back into a timeout and the thing that hurts the most i mean you look at it here maybe a77 has something cooked up for us but uh, unbeknownst to our viewers, he's sitting on a Bucky on the Cypher. That guy's gonna have to do something crazy. Moves obviously not being able to keep the operator, puts a rifle back in his hands. But boy, that round hurt. Oh yeah. And it's been all about the mental games. Uh, the, the IGLing that has been so clean for Northwood to make sure those plays in that mid round are shining the brightest, especially when it matters, right? Especially when it comes to taking that lead in the last round of regulations, trying to close it out too. That's why they take this time up too. You don't want to go overtime. You've gone overtime before against Winthrop, against Fisher. That cannot be the case for this one. And Norvo's giving a best chance at it. A Winthrop was again so close, but losing three rounds in a row, that definitely hurts. And now the setup comes through, right? A77 tosses out a trap wire. We're gonna play across the map from that one. I'm paying attention to that Bucky. If he can find some semblance of value for this team. That goes there. Otherwise, this is looking like a Northwood victory. Moob's not necessarily left on an island, but only two defenders here. Slowly but surely, Nazi. Starts to work his way back over. He's in steps okay. up. Yeah, tower's been uncontested as the boom bot will come through. And all the ultimates tossed out here. Orbital Strike comes through. Moves is just sitting right on the inside. It's a bit of friendly fire, and he stays the whole time as Comey collects the wrong type of kill. It's all going wrong. Here on the flank comes the Sheriff Bucky combination. And Dry, it just seems like all she wrote. And there's the way it goes down like that, right? Moves getting taken on by the Orbital Strike of his own teammate. Without all that space, that 4v2 to work with, but now on the other side, Northwood with the advantage, and Flare looking for something with the Showstopper. And Spike is down. Nobody in close proximity of the Showstopper. No, Ollie gonna try his hand. Standing. Decapitates Flare. Now it's all up to Comey. Dip sits him dead. Dryad, Map 3, Northwood University looking to make... Uh, uh, add solely as an honorary member with that 3-0 prediction. <laughs> uh, otherwise, Winthrop have to do it in reverse sweep fashion. Again, a third map in a row. Winthrop University, they start on the attack. And looking at the player reactions after there. losing that second yeah. map for Winthrop, you need to start high here. You need to start yes. strong for Winthrop. And you have this composition that kind of enables you to do that, right? But Flair has to be on his A game for this map. And Nazi came out hot in map one. Again, in that Fisher series. We saw a glimpse of it on Fracture. It looked so good. But now has to try and do it again. You mentioned Flare Dryad, and he's quick out towards his B site. Deals with the first. It's Benji gone. But back site, Furpsa still stands. And sure, he's playing the smokes, but this guy can click heads. 
The, the Astro play is not going to change anything. This guy, when he has to get those headshots and get the kills with the ghost, he's going to do just that. It seems like every single pistol run that we've seen so far is Furpsa going insane, getting those multi-kills, and he gets taken down, but the damage is done. Yeah, and I mean, where does Flare go? He's just been spotted by the Trailblazer. Now Darkus gives himself up. Snake bite sent out. Good flick there from Flare. 180 to find the kill onto Ali. So a 2v2 is where we stand. Pink shells will force dip away. I mean, it only takes a blast Enemy pack, but that's remaining. not even needed. Spam comes through with the frenzy. Head has been found. An A77 with a tall task ahead of him. Finds him first, finds him next, and A77 with the clutch. And when it seems like it was over, it's an A77 that steps up massively for the last couple of kills. Secures that pistol round for Winthrop, and I mentioned it, right? They need to start high. That's one way to do so. An A77 that the desk, both on Monday and today, have talked about this guy. The consistency that he has, it's something that by itself is a winning factor for Winthrop. And and you mentioned it, right? Needing to start hot. It seemed like Winthrop are kind of just moping in that round. Dancing around, giving up free kills to Ferbsa. Ferbsa had three kills, I think, before anybody even knew he was there. He's just bang, 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 oh finding heads. Yeah. But A77 now rallies the troops, right? Calls everybody back into that huddle with a huge clutch win to say, guys, we're still in this. And he does it again. He catches Ferbsa. Giving up too much space. or trying to take too much space, I should say. And he's expecting another one and another kill is what he'll find. That is the second one for this round. A spike in the meantime is going to get planted on that attacking side of Winthrop. Post plan gets activated here. With the class 6 and that read of A77, he knew it was going to be the aggression for Norfleet. Gets those two, and even with the confidence that he got, the Vanda was going to be more than enough. Only damage there. Sometimes the right click is your friend, other times, not quite the case. Starkest disconnected from the play. Hoping to scoop up something outside B main. Not given a whole lot. And you have options. Do you go down to the spike here in this one or do you look to collect a kill? Maybe a death, grab a couple of alt orbs. You yourself, seemingly, maybe given one over and yeah, absolutely nothing there on the way out. A flawless round for Winthrop University. Uh, and the resurrection is starting to happen. We're two rounds into the ritual. Two rounds into the ritual. We're going to see if it turns into a third one here. With a bonus, that can look strong. With an A77 ready to go. Playing a little bit more aggressive, even on the Sentinel roll and, and having that battle. It, keeping this flawless also helps out so much because that's not what we've seen before right it's been messy pretty much every single round mm -hmm. those pistols the anti-eco the bonus it always costs so much for that winning team but a winthrop it is looking to four more when they are quick out towards mid paint shells to back them away dip showing signs of force They're saying hey we're not gonna give up this space for free so you till traded back and forth but i mean flare keeps going caught with boom button hand flare will find one but that util does eventually get that kill traded right back moves goes aggressive a headshot to ali but with the specter it wasn't enough for the kill and the combination of utility there with the nano swarm and that boom bud was just so clean. Both of them timing out. When they're getting out of that smoke, but Benji gets Spike two. Down, B. Absolutely bananas. Two players just walk through the smoke completely dry, not expecting yeah. a single person. Instead, they're met by two. And a couple of rounds do swing the way of Winthrop, but as soon as Northwood gets the option to play the game with rifles in their hands, they scoop one up. And, and this is interesting because yesterday when I was talking to Moob, something that he mentioned was they're not they don't consider themselves very good at split and he said this this is not our best map we had a close run uh 13 11 that they ended up losing against fisher for that map and, and now with a chance to kind of reevaluate what those changes have to be but you need to come in with a strong mentality of not that it's not the strongest map but how far can you take it against northwood right that, that last map was so close you lose it just by one round and now it's aggressive once again towards mid Wow, yeah. A nice little skirmish. These teams continue to show where exactly they want to play. And it's no secret, right? When you play split, you need to have something here on this side of the map or else you're basically just yeah. corralling 
yourself to the extremities. We haven't seen a whole lot of extremity play, actually, especially from this attacking side. We haven't seen uh, any lurks out towards A. It really has been uh, maybe somebody waiting outside B main at the most for the attacking side until mid control has been found. If the neutral theft, the players get spotted. That means we're gonna have a little bit of a heavier presence towards A as there is only one there, but that one is Furbs up. Yeah, that one is Furbsa, and this guy can be a problem. That smoke can dissipate here momentarily. No, instead he pushes through it. Comey was ready for it, though. Heads up play from the Omen. Darkest tries his hand, but he's immediately taken down. As Ali finds himself in a tough spot, he'll push through the smoke, a cage to work through as well. 11 bullets in the magazine. That's not a whole lot to try and fight your way out of a 1v3. Let's see if he goes with his better judgment. The economy not the best, and it does seem... He wants to back away from it. Yesterday, when we got to see Winthrop on this map, or on Monday, when we got to see them, they were actually on that defensive side, giving so much space towards mid, playing all the way back, like you said, on more of those extremities. And for this defensive side of Norwood, that is not even an option. You see a heavy fight towards mid, and then the, the play around that utility and that neutral set for this specific round to be able to secure it. So. I'm wondering if that's going to change eventually, where they have to give a little bit more of that mid space. Play around the way the Furbsa has been doing, right? More reactive. And even right as the spike gets planted, he tries to make a move. Of course, not going to be enough for that one. But it went through that for that secured the three rounds. Yeah, and I mean, we're four rounds in, round five just around the corner, five seconds away. Dryad, we're seeing that. We're talking about it, which you, makes you think, right, that Northwood have to be thinking about this mid-aggression and, and the conditioning that has been happening here from Winthrop is, well, mid-aggression once more. Moves finds a kill on to Dip. Happy to sneak that one away as they back up and look to play strength in numbers. Util aplenty for this attacking squad. And it's super aggressive once against the worst mid. It was three players. Dip goes down, but then it was Dark is able to react in time, and the util that has to be invested just to get the spades is there for Winthrop. Showstopper. Yeah, Ali getting a little crazy with it. Flash comes out, barrel spotted. No way. Darkest walks away. Two kills, a snake bite to cover his tracks. And just like that, the round's been flipped on its head. Northwood, one player the lead. And you know the darkest is there, but inside of the smoke and so up close, not so much. Two kills there for that Viper. And the things turn around, the round turns a little bit more for this out of Northwood. On these leads, on this men advantages, they're able to secure them right at the end. Dark is though, not connecting. Spike down, beat. And yeah, Moops finds that kill. Furbsa wants some more. Moops still healthy, but only for a moment. It's 877 left. down to 11 HP. It's five per player he has to deal with, and he falls to the first. Once again, Furbsa just on this B side, locking it down. And being so patient too, where maybe you see one of the players get taken down, he could have repositioned, but he stays strong and every single time it just works out. It's insane what this guy is able to do now on the Astra, on that controller. It's something that we don't get to see much of, and, and with that, the Cosmic Divide becomes available. Yeah, and if you're Winthrop or a Winthrop fan or a family member in the audience with us today, you definitely would have liked to see Winthrop get a bit more behind them before allowing Northwood to find ways back into this game. A couple of rounds where, again, Winthrop wish they could have those ones back. Darkest getting some cheeky kills. Furbsa also doing the same, but in that same breath, Winthrop fight for the extremities out towards b main they go five players strong two players now down for the defense and information of plenty with that ultimate from 877. you get that info but can you get the kills the defense playing all the way back dip goes down cost of it planted in a 2v4 to work with nasty slow darkest trying his best but for this round is not going to be enough benji once again in a clutch situation if anybody can Benji can, but a good setup. So difficult. From Winthrop. Yeah, you can't imagine he gets past many of these crossfires. We'll find the first Nazi. Peeks out after that off the contact of moves and closes out the round. So two round lead is where Winthrop land. Six rounds into this one. And Nazi, uh, the man at the end of that round to find the kill. He's also very close to another huge tool for Winthrop's success. 
And, and one of the things that changed there as well, right? We talked about the last couple of rounds, the heavy presence towards mid that we saw from Northwood. But for that round, there was not so much of that. That's part of it uh, because of the utility, the ultimates that became available for Winthrop. It was a showstopper with the possibility of shutting down one of the players that wanted to come in, even those seekers that are seekers that are going to be now available for this round. So uh, a Northwood that is willing and okay, giving that space early on, but they lose the round because of it. Uh, I want to see how this play is going to work out. With nobody too close from the A side. And, and I mean, it's another lead here. Not as dominant as we saw in Fracture, but with the lead, with the previous round win, it's Winthrop University to call a timeout, work their way through this one. I think you, it's something that you set your eyes towards. The ultimate that stands out to me the most, especially on this map, is Benji's lockdown, right? There's a lot of options for that ultimate and not a whole lot of ways to deal with it, right? You're not bringing yep. in the Hunter Fury. If you are going to deal with that lockdown, you either have to have the most perfect paint shells, which I would imagine Benji's going to keep you on your toes as to where he's placing it, or maybe the showstopper, but then even then, Flair's putting himself, you know, kind of putting his body on the line to be able to spot that showstopper, take care of it with the rocket, and then what, right? Who's protecting that ultimate? Probably everybody. Yeah. And it's interesting because in the map pool that we have for these grand finals, this is the only map where you don't see that constant kill drift from everybody, that kill drift being the meta. This is just something that for Northwood works out and even compares to that Cypher on the other side that would play very similar to what we got to see on Fracture. But a kill drift, like you said, with that big win condition that the lockdown is, allows Northwood to have that extra advantage with those ultimates. And A77, a player, uh, typically the initiator, last two maps, Fracture and Split, we get him here on the Cypher. He has found heaps of value. Uh, it, it kind of escaped us in Winthrop's first series. A77 is a guy, if you let him play off of his utility, whether that be the Gecko, whether that be the Sova, and in this instance, the Cypher, he's going to find value for you. So I'm ready for this Winthrop defense to see how A77 pilots that as Nazi gets an early First blood on to dip. It's a lesser buy for Northwood University, and they try to take the fight right to Winthrop. They had the right call that Winthrop would be changing things up, but they're met with an early death. And yeah, towards the beginning, before that timeout, we didn't see anybody too up close on A, but because it's an eco and because it's Northwood, we know it's going to be aggressive as one by one they go down. The classic is going to take down Flare. We're left with the last two players alive, and that turns into only Furbsa to work with. This round should be the side of one throw. Yeah, near flawless. As you mentioned, Flare goes down. Uh, Benji. Whoa. Okay. A77 standing out in no man's land. Will eventually be taken down. So a consolation prize for Furbsa. He finds a kill on the way out. The round still, however, belongs to Winthrop. And uh, Benji was going with the, if I can't see you, you can't see me. He was hoping that he was hiding in the aftershock, unfortunately. <laughs> unfortunately, he was not. Not gonna be quite the case as the round goes by pretty quickly. The aggression that we got to see on that defensive side. But now that means all ultimates yeah. available on that <laughs> defensive side. And that becomes a lot scary. We talked about the lockdown. But I think also something that you can work with is that cosmic divide. Use right when you get to hear where the hit is gonna be coming from. Even for that retake, it's so effective. So the first one that we get to see the Vapor spit. Yeah, Winter doing a good job though. I mean, completely changing things. That Rolling Thunder comes through. Oh, that got scary. Wow. Benji not able to reel it in though. Stunned up by the tail end of that Rolling Thunder. Flare finds himself on the side, tosses out the rocket, almost gets one blind. Ali eventually dealt with, but he takes two kills with him. And just like that, it's the player who ulted into the back lines in Komi, who has to try and claw his way out of this one for a Winthrop victory. But it is such a tall ask. Spike out of reach. Dark is the first one up with the first one down in the 1v3. There's two more here to work with. Showstopper, though, still going to be available. And Komi trying his best to win this one. Spike, not close to him. Ultimate not available. A about to be given. About to be given to 1v1s. But Ferbsa gets it done at the end of the day. It was close. Uh, but a round where Winthrop had the idea, it just slipped away. Winthrop, with that play that we saw early on, was just insane. We, we get to see that Rolling Thunder. 
then Benji goes down because of it with that TP. Everything seemed to be going according to plan, but that B hit is just way too difficult. And we saw all the ultimates that even got invested for Winthrop. Now there's nothing. It was only one Nita, the Viper spit on A, that North would use, and that's not even what won them the round. Yeah, it wasn't even needed. They just used it. One of five used there from Northwood. That doesn't, again, doesn't do a whole lot there. So they're still sitting on four of the ducks in their pond. Meanwhile, Moobs is going to have some good information, sure, but we'll see when those Seekers do eventually get invested. We saw two rounds of Winthrop heavy on the extremities. The last couple now, we go back towards that mid control. Yeah. And, and it heavy worked momentarily. MB. And now they're just kind of stuck in the mud. It's heavy on B as well. You only have to kill your util on A. We're likely willing to play for that retake. If anything, those Seekers as well, you want to respect something that... It, right when it becomes available, you see it being used, but not that round. It shows up instead set to start us I off, and it's just a trade. Yeah, it's a huge kill from A77 to make sure that dip gets nothing more on the round. Snakebite will keep this team at bay. 45 seconds on the clock, and Winthrop are going to have to start making some plays. There's no blast packs for Flare, so it's going to be pretty dry in the way that they look to take a site, should they choose to do so. With all this space, so Darkest out towards mid, exploring, playing an adventuring game here. He's fortunate enough to back away. Not ready on the angle was Nazi, and somehow, okay, yeah. finally dealt with. Darkest almost sneaks away from all of that, but now they're walking into that Benji A setup, and he is ready for this squad. Flashes out, fault line. Not close enough, not stunned, but a one-for-one one trade. And yeah, time is of the essence, but nobody is here to delay. So that means a spike here. Gonna be planted. The Seekers get activated. As that move and that rotation from the attacking side started to get played. But now it doesn't matter. It's the post plan and at least first have the last one's alive. A good paranoia slows things down for a moment. Not ready yet. Only not comfortable on the push just yet. Ferbs are now spotted, one. coming down to one HP. The two players on the site healthy, but they're not looking the right way. A backstab just around the corner. Oh, Flair's been yeah, dealt with one more. Ending. Now queued up as Moves comes through. Shrouded step for the paranoia. Furbsa can't quite collect that one. 34 HP separated. A Northwood win from a Northwood loss in the round belongs to Winthrop. Pretty close for that one round. And, and the smoke in the meantime, it almost ended up benefiting the side of that retake for Northwood. The Komi with one HP going for it. In the last kills, the heroic plays from Moops are able to save that round. Six so far for Winthrop. Again, a team that said this is not their best map at all. Maybe not even in the middle, and yet they're putting up a fight. They are ahead, but the question is, can they keep this lead? and not turn it the way that we saw on Fracture. It's an eco. We have seen crazy things in these eco rounds. Also still a couple of ultimates that could be invested. It should North would find a little bit of breathing room in this one. With four player swords mid and nobody else this time around up close. That last round it was dark as he could not run away for his life. So now he's giving up that space. A little bit of damage as well taken by Flare as you start to catch those patterns of the early presence that we see from Winthrop. Yeah, look at Northwood though. They've got the right read. Snake bite. The snake bite actually forces Winthrop the other way. Northwood had the read that the hit was coming out towards A. Darkest slows that one down. Util used to open up this B site, but unbeknownst to this attack, nobody is home. Nazi. Gonna try and clean up the pieces that slowly drift in behind and two kills to his name. Those ones are free. Trailblazer spots him out. And this round, far from a Northwood victory. Benji with to do some something heroic here in this one. Instead, it's Comey who comes into this series. Pop of the Fisher win. Four maps, four different agents. This guy yeah. is, is continuing. And I think somebody who... I don't know if the desk mentioned it at the top of show, but somebody who could have been criticized for their performance the last time against Northwood, yeah. showing up huge on the day today. Yeah, that match that they had, the first time that these two teams faced each other when it was 
that upper bracket. It, it was a Komi that was really struggling. Uh, but since we got to see him on Monday when he was playing that, that lower bracket final, mm -hmm. he really stepped up and is, and is doing so today as well. And of course, you need to write. It is the grand final. It is the time to get those agents as strong as they can be. As For that round number 11, the hit early on the presence of that util is towards that a side and that's not where northwood is at all yeah, only one defender here oh but that Spike one defender is what is darkest oh, doing dryad what? what is darkest doing and there's only one there's only one but it's darkest that counts as the entire team for this round four kills for the viper a 77 the last one into this one of 1v5 clutch that would be needed and man darkest was feeling it for it. this one is the ace wow a 77 and the a stands for ace it's darkest last he couldn't even see house. anybody he for picks you. up two kills for free finds a third finds a fourth and cutting Spike a rug here a. on the a site and again, just when Winthrop get a bit of wind beneath their wings, it's stripped away by an individual performance. We saw that earlier, where Darkest gets two random kills out towards yeah. mid, walks away from it all, and that started this Northwood comeback, if you will. They've only been trailing by a few rounds. He does it again, and now 7-5 to five is available at the half, Dryad. It's just insane what this Viper can do, and he talked about it. He feels actually pretty comfortable on this Viper, strong holding these sides all by himself, and that is exactly what we got to see. The experience that he has in Tier 2 internationally are completely unmatched, and you get to see in rounds like that one. And last round of the half, I mean, mid-control name of the game. Dip goes fishing through a smoke and finds a huge catch. And Nazi goes down one for one. Ultimate still available. Benji still sits on the lockdown, has not had a chance to get that one in play. Meanwhile, Darkest keeps the A-side single-handedly locked down, not through kills, but through way of that Viper spit as Komi ults his way into the back lines. And that was going to be the space. Doesn't spot anybody. Usually it's Furps out up there. So once he gets taken down, that is a green light for that TP play to come through. But the lockdown on the other side forces this attacking side of Winthrop to back up. And Winthrop now have completely been reset on the round. They toss out a smoke to make sure nobody pushes aggressively to peek into main. But Northwood are here. The defenders are on the site. Flare finds one. It's traded right back. Standing. Fortunately, Comey and moves. We're able to make I this one look exactly winnable for Winthrop and Darkest. Yeah, they know exactly where you are. Neural th theft, excuse me, Spike for all planted. the information. And five kills in the last would need a 1v3 here in this one. But essentially, a 1v5 is what he was given. And look at Winthrop. They know the, the strengths of this player. They're marching around as a unit. You want to be careful. Don't want to give those 1v1s to Darkest for sure. Even after he gets spotted. Gonna get paranoid. Trying to waste this time for the round. Secure the 8th one for one throw. It drops down silently. Comey using that paranoia to use that shrouded step to get up top. Finds the first. Can't ace. quite find the next. The team ace finds its work. But none of it mattered because when they showed up to play for who's going to be king of the east, they end up taking that one. So they could erase all of this Northwood history. Out. If they got it done here now brick by brick one step at a time is where winthrop university are at an eight to four Tactics half much like what we saw on fracture as they mount their defense here in the second half of split and the defense in the past everybody would talk about the defensive side of split how good it is but with the aggression that we've seen from this players it can be a different story and a winthrop proactive throughout the map yeah, I mean, speaking of aggressive, flares all the way through B, out towards mid, makes the call, says, hey, nobody's home. Let's go ahead and play out towards this A site where A77 and moves are starting to collect. And only two left alive, Ali and Benji. Benji goes down by the paint shells. And the pistol seems almost perfect by Winthrop. Ooh, a near flawless pistol, like you mentioned. A77, the only one to fall, but not before finding two kills. And that's the difference maker, right? Eight to four at the half. We swap sides. They take the pistol, and Winthrop keep this momentum moving forward. That's exactly what Winthrop needed to do. Something that secures and gives that extra confidence, extra momentum to work with with the pistol and... 
and a77 that comes back into this game we saw him before clutching that first pistol of split he does it for the first kills this time around and now proactively looking for that space right not letting Northwood take it first not much of a reinvestment for Northwood Benji and Ferbsa, of course with Sheriff in hand I think you'd expect Nothing less, but also a, a modest purchase on the opposite side for Winthrop. Nobody really getting outside themselves uh, to buy up, you know, the the real rifles. Sorry to the Bulldog. I didn't mean to put the Bulldog down like that, but no Vandals, no Phantoms is basically what I'm saying. Nothing at all as well to work with. Any crazy buys for the side of North with. And, and for this round, even willing to slow things down. But on the other side, even giving that respect, Flare goes down. No way it goes like this. Yeah, and while all this is happening out towards A, the spike was working towards B. Ferbs are finding that kill. I mean, they just have so many options now, uh, that being Northwood. And there are two players closer to A. Decide to go instead for mid. As yeah, that, sp that spike has not been spotted just yet. Uh, I mean, you're in the middle of the fight, Nasty. Nothing you can do. Nowhere to hide. Goes down. And a Spectre here for Dev. Oh my god! Comey needed to do the unthinkable. And he just about did it. Three players come swinging through B Heaven, and Comey cuts him down. Now, Move's gonna have to try to do the same. Two Spike flashes. Planted. Spike planted. One, One player radio. dealt with. Where's the next? It's Darkest. The last man standing in a round that seemed out of reach at the start for Northwood. But they reel it back in. Moves will try and do it, but Darkest a bit better on the round, and Northwood get it done. Second round, second half. It belongs to the attack. Insane round the anti-eco and the 1v2 to work with moves trying to make it happen gets the first kill goes for the flash plays it as best as he can and yet darkest gets the best of it swings just by the time he hears a flash coming through and that is enough I mean if it's not the, the pistol and then the bonus it is it has to be this right the anti-eco going to set up north with Wow Again, just no breathing room. No breathing room at all for Winthrop. This next round starts and move, moves immediately. Erased a couple of sheriffs. And again, we've seen these eco rounds. They've been interesting, but it's been for Northwood that has made these ones interesting. We'll see if Winthrop can put up a fight here. Oh, man. I mean, Ferbsa just won't allow it. I, I think, I mean, just that last round, heartbreaking for Winthrop. When you lose that Antaika, it never feels good. No, I mean, it's all been heartbreak for Winthrop. They have not had a chance. They've been trying to play to the snowball, but it's summertime. That snowball just continues to melt as Northwood put a flawless round on the board. And now what do you do? Again, much like the previous maps, right? Winthrop are hearing the footsteps. Northwood are right behind them, catching up to them. And because of that, we're seeing the nerves. You saw it for the last round, especially Moobs was the only one up close. So whereas A tries to go for a flash play, but he's completely isolated, taken down. And that's all the space the Northwood needed for that one. I mean, you're hoping for a quick reset if you're on the side of Winthrop. No, no timeouts or anything, right? It has to be with this rounds, with this kills to get that confidence back. And short-term memory is what Winthrop need in these difficult rounds. Dip hoping to catch somebody off guard, but nobody wants to go too aggressive instead of playing off the util. They just keep it as information and three players on the swing there. Always still walks away with one healthy, well, as healthy as you can be after being shot by three people. He can't heal himself, but a one-for-one -one trade at the end of the day. There's a trade and nothing else. And one kill, one orb here is going to be needed. One spike planted for Darkest to get that Viper spit massive for that post plan. But first, they're going to have to deal with a race up close. It's going to be Flare. I'm trying to slow this push from happening. Yeah, the paint shells are doing the trick. Cosmic Divide comes down and cuts the site in half. But I mean, both players here for Winthrop are on the right side of the wall. I say the right side. But
but Darkus just walks up, erases the first, Flash comes through, Nazi gonna try his hand, two kills to his name, wants a third, Furbsa will deny, One meanwhile out towards remaining. mid, Comey also Don't getting caught, as he lurks his way on through, but the spike is down. Moves is alive. Moves has a chance to redeem himself. A 1v2 with a spike in his control, but he walks right into the sight lines of both players and Northwood University continue this march forward. And the smokes as well for Moves, just so annoying to deal with with both of the players up close. There was a chance, but slips away. Northwood, they're slowly doing it. They're making that comeback happen again on this potential last map if we get to see that happening three rounds in a row and Ika coming through for Winthrop and two rounds away from tying things up on split the confidence was high early on for Winthrop then it slowed down okay the good protection. damage there good damage there Boomba gets nothing information garnered by uh the jump peak there of dip will be healed up though regrowth from Ali will find their raise back at 100 HP, and this aggression does not stop Winthrop pushing all the way through B main. And the smokes attempting to make things a little bit more annoying towards mid, but there is nobody there. They pushed up, find nothing just yet, just Dark is on A. And that's called moves backs up. The, the spike still moseying around mid will eventually. Make a decision. Flash for flash. Nobody spotted on the opposite side. A77. About to be put in a world of hurt. As Ferbs will get those stars down. Smokes are up. Cam has been dealt with. And here comes the hit. Two players. The backside of A Heaven. The first one dealt with. Nice shots from Moves. We'll capitalize on one. Comey finds another. Make it two for Comey. Going absolutely huge. And the spike down again. In an unfavorable position, Darkest gonna try and scoop that one up, but with the rifle on the other side, through the Ooh. smoke he stands. Nazi gets it done with the right click. The classic just enough. And with 14 seconds, we've seen Benji be good, but I don't know if he can be this good. Three more players to worry about. Flair closes out the round, and hey, they wipe the sweat from their brow. They get it done in thrifty fashion, and Winthrop are back in the win column. And another thrifty for Winthrop. Double digits to this third map. But the defense looking better. It initially, got worried a little bit, backing up so much from the A side after they get the first contact of Darkest. But then going for it, it's massive what Komi is able to do. Just baiting out with two players in that position. Komi just holding patiently for his chance and he gets it. Yeah, really drawing them deeper into A heaven, isolating fights for himself and winning those fights. That was the most important thing there for Komi. Two huge kills, weapon picked up, spike down. That basically meant the round. Now Winthrop go back to it. Aggression towards B main doesn't stop. As Winthrop all the way through, here they go. Dip trying to get run down. Paint shells out, turret will try and help him out for just a moment. The stun has subsided and Benji does it again. This guy, I mean, he is the kryptonite to Rolling Thunders. It, rolling Thunder does not affect him. It, it doesn't matter. How unwinnable it seems for Benji. He is going to get those duels. And one by one, Northwood slowly back into this round. I, I mean, that was even a crazy play for Winthrop on the defense. They go for this friendly Thunder play they've never done before. They don't go as aggressive ever. They try to switch things up, and it's not working out at all. Ace and Seven coming. It's off to them to clutch this one. When they find the first wire, not the second. A77 collects one off of his util. As Comey slowly brings up the rear. But I mean, it's a solo mission for both players that survive Unimportant. for this Winthrop squad. Comey though, I mean, no. this guy, a solo mission, sure, a single player game, and he has taken down boss after boss as A77 comes through to cut it down to one. Ali has to hang on, a paranoia on the backside as Comey taps the spike. Comey does it again! Three. And so patient all around the last two players, but they clutch it. We've seen those scenarios of the man disadvantage go the way of Northwood, but this one, a massive round for it to go the way of Winthrop. And again, Comey, massive for it. Found my wire. 
We talked about it, but I'm gonna say it again. Comey coming up when it matters most. Much like the series on Monday, much like what it would mean for Winthrop to win today. When you put up performances like this, the past doesn't matter. What happens, yeah. or what matters is what's happening right now. Comey at 18 and nine. 18 and nine, sure. But the frags that he's finding to continue to put his team in winning situations. As Dip looking to do just that, takes the first fight. Flare completely flashed, taken down, had no way to fight back into that one. It's Comey. It's a rotate to the opposite side of the map. No, they think this is a fake triad, but Northwood are here. And it's two players only, but the two players, once again, can't be enough. Trailblazer doesn't spot anything up close. It's everybody towards heaven. Oh, and the showstopper is not going to have time to get anything. A down to one HP. That's what Nazi survives as he walks away, gets healed up by moves. Seekers available for the sky. We'll see if those make an appearance here in round 19. And there's only one person here on this B site, but it's the person you want, the anchor you need. It's Comey. Looks to play inside the pit. He wants to catch Darkus off guard. He's looking for a back stab. He spots the Viper, takes him down, and that ult means absolutely nothing. And in the meantime, this play, they knew what it was happening. The Seekers come through for moves. They know the play was going to end up on A. The Viper Spit was just a fake. And just a fake here. Util use. Now moves finally getting into the action. Nazi will find another return on investment from that regrowth as Nazi finds a kill. And Ali in a similar situation to rounds previous. It was a 1v2. Unfortunately, things didn't go all his way. This time a 1v4, but he doesn't have the time. Paranoia comes through, 877, closes it out, and Winthrop, they want a map four. And it's gonna be Match point. one more round to secure it. Ideally, in a row with the momentum that has been going off for Winthrop. And a nerf with trying to stop this, trying to close it in three maps. But it's not gonna be so easy. The economy. Pretty much the worst it can be for this one. You're depending on those ultimates that they've been saving, right? We saw the one from Darkest last, that last round. But here, Benji has been holding on to this lockdown round after round. It is the network never situation to go for it. And those initial picks, those thrifty rounds that we've seen are going to depend on it. And look who it is. Winthrop to call a timeout right at the end. They have five rounds to play with. When you look at the players cam player cams, everybody seemingly stoic, soaking up the information from the coaches. It's darkest. Sure, it's now darkest the mid-rounder for this squad. Yep. Probably has a lot to say. I think none of it matters though when you look at this and you say, man, that is, I mean, you are, are quite honestly, you're looking for yard sale signs if you're Northwood University and you're hoping to get something on sale because you do not have the best economy behind you. And we've yeah. seen miracles, but surely not again. Surely, 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 not, surely again. not again. Yeah, when it's like this with the back against the wall and a map like this one, it does seem a lot more difficult for Northwood, but for these guys, nothing's impossible. So you gotta see how it's gonna play out. Well, the sheriffs that have been clean from Furbs, have you seen it from Darkest, from Benji especially, the players at the top. Ooh. I, oh, man. I thought we were seeing a different play here. I thought Flair was going to have the high ground. Off of that flash, we would see Moob send one back and then Flair going with the showstopper instead. Stoic is Flair as he holds his position. And it is uh, the Bomb default of all defaults here for Northwood University. The buy. Two Bulldogs, a Stinger, two Sheriffs. They're gonna try. Gonna try with that 4-1 set up early on. Only Dark is on the other part of the map. It's the first time we've seen this position. Oh, the Trailblazer spots it though. This could have been huge for Comey instead. He's been given up, spotted out. Paint just come through. Dip gonna now try his hand. Shots, they land good. I mean, okay. you just cannot challenge Comey here. Not here on split. Comey continues it. And just like that, in the blink of an eye, a flawless. Yeah, on Icebox, then everybody stopped playing that right. Yeah, and Nazi just sitting there like he's not doing anything. Like, all coy and smug. Like, he this didn't just lock the, in the Reyna. This is not the. But it, when you play, it's the meta. <laughs> <laughs> when you play, Reyna is always in the meta. It, that's 
it is going to be cool to see. I'm wondering how the adaptations for Northwood are going to look like. In paper, though, this is an arena, so it should be easier than the old comp that we got to see from Winthrop. But if you want that boost of confidence, uh, the arena is over for it. The Reyna is definitely there. We'll see how much value it can find. It's the first of the four maps that we have seen that Winthrop will start on the defense. And while an early suppression from Darkest will spot the placement of three defenders for Winthrop University. Meanwhile, the rest of the squad spike in hand for Northwood as they head out towards A. Standing ahead. And only one player up close, that one being A77. But we saw what he's capable of doing when he's in these kind of positioning. As the rest of the team is able to give a little bit of uh, that extra support with the space. Granted, A77 wow. once again good with the sheriff. Yeah, I mean, give this guy a sheriff in the pistol round and he'll show you just how to use it. Fortunately for Northwood, A77 is no more. Benji get a match two for two. Well to A77 and to Benji. The rest of the team, unfortunately, is gone as Ali will try his hand. The spike just out of reach, and it's a pistol round again that belongs to Winthrop. And starting strong here with that pistol for Winthrop, that defensive side that started playing aggressive towards B, and that might be something they're gonna see a couple times, right? They're playing around these two duelists, and now they have with Arena on that last round towards B, pushing, then backing up, and making sure that A77 was there for it. A rifle once again in the hands of this guy, uh, as it seems like he even goes back to the comfort of that initiator role. We saw him a little bit more on that Sentinel, but the Sova and on on this map of Icebox is even better than you can expect. Yeah, both Sova players happy to be back on this comfort pick, that being A77 and Dip. Meanwhile, uh, in digging uh, through the archives, this comp has never been played by Winthrop, at the very least. Nazi has never uh, wandered into this territory. As Burbsa so will find the first, A77 there to collect another for Winthrop. Make it two is the Reyna, aforementioned, also found a kill with the Stinger. An anti-eco where Winthrop pretty handedly find themselves in the lead. We've seen Northwood steal these rounds away. This time, that will not be the case as Dip can only hope for some damage on the way out. Damage has not yet been found. Nazi will close out the round. That Reina creeps closer to that ultimate and Winthrop find themselves an early two round lead. Two rounds here for Winthrop and it does really feel like that throwback of what the old meta used to be like. The way that they're setting up, it, we're back then with this Reyna and Jed, we would see them playing pretty much alone on the A side, a Sova pivoting from that mid to A, depending on, on the pressure that the attacking side was bringing. And they're doing exactly that, at least for that round. That was the plan, that was the execution. And for the defense, it was good to secure it. Not they uh not a patented Winthrop timeout, instead a, a technical one. It doesn't seem like anybody spilt their drinks on the stage. I feel like that's... That, you would do that. I would absolutely do that. Yeah. Actually, that's why we have a nice little table underneath us here, or else all of this equipment would be uh, damaged, <laughs> and uh, it'd be I'd be paying for it out of pocket. <laughs> I, am, I do make uh, rookie mistakes. I was a kid who put the glass too close at the buffet to the corner of the table, and... Eventually, a worker had to clean it up. Mm. Not but the case, at least. Not the case here. Yeah, fortunately, uh, these guys look like professionals. Their first time sitting in these seats. Uh, mentioned by, I think, all of the players uh, collectively. You know, this right here, outside of all of what North would have pieced together in way of their accolades. I mean, this takes the cake. Sitting here yeah the riot games arena i mean there's nothing like it and a couple of the players got asked the, the people that they admire the players that they admire and of course they mentioned the america's players that sit here yeah. as well so there's got to be that feeling of you know i wonder what players were sitting here was it my favorite player was it crashes was it marv as a couple of them mentioned was it jake the one who made it yeah. out of collegiate uh, to that tier one uh, so you think about all those things and it's a lot of emotions that the, the players go through for this one but when it comes to getting those kills and locking it down, they will make sure they're doing so as the tech pause is over. 
If there was a spill, it has been cleaned up. It was not. It was not a spill. <laughs> it was not a spill. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm selling a, uh, a false narrative <laughs> as we come out of that one. Round three, full buy for Northwood University. Meanwhile, the bonus isn't the worst for Winthrop. They do have that rifle in the hands of A77, who has found heaps of value. And look at this. I mean, this is what the Reyna can do, right? Find that kill, back away, dismiss to safety, and a player down on Northwood starting again. And it was an extra support as well with the jet and the Sova, making sure that those angles were being watched as the arena starts pushing, and immediately that rotation comes through. And that is exactly where Northwood is. And Dark has found that kill on Takomi, but look at the health. And there's no Sage, no Sky, so 15 HP is where the robot stays. Nazi gonna try his hand on the other side, though. Ollie was on the angle. As Wall goes down, Nazi gives it up. And Northwood University, they're quiet. They're slowing down. But look at moves. They can't go back to A for free. Yeah, it's not going to be easy at all. And you got to know this jet is going to be positioned towards A, but you are expecting this kind of aggressive position from new moves. Not at all. Darkest goes down because of it. Yeah, moves perfect on the headshot there, but needed to be anything but that. It was only 15 HP again for Darkest. And with that, they say, hey, there is no way in for us. Let's work our way back out towards B, where Benji has gained some space, but it's immediately taken away. An icebox that we have not have seen down, in some B. time for Winthrop has started three rounds ahead for this squad. With no time. And the round, the bone is going for the set of Winthrop. The buy was still strong, but securing it feels even better. Uh, uh, this is so interesting too, because we talked about Winthrop, we talked about this Reyna that we were not expecting at all, but on the other side, there's a raise here. It is not the Jed, and this is yeah. not new. Verbsa has been playing this raid, has played that raise on Icebox in the past, but it's not the, the meta that you see constantly happening. And even using that operator, getting space with that operator becomes a lot harder. So you are potentially expecting a lot more of those rifle buys and rounds to be played out by the side of Northwood. And, and trying to play around what this guy wants to do. Yeah, and with that rifle, he saves it from the last round. He's going to try his hand once more. The team bought up just a bit behind him, but it's only upgraded pistols. Stinger to Marshall, a dip, I, I think, either uh, on the receiving end of a few shots or a shock dart that landed. Either way, he's down to 12 HP early in this round as we get some of that raise util. Nazi on the wrong side of that toxic screen. Another goes up this one. The way of Comey. Verbs are going to try and find his way on. Again, the rifle is here. A77 finds the first. Benji there for trades, but it doesn't matter. A77 continues to lock down this A site. Verbs is around the corner. Three kills for the Sova, but it has not been enough for the round. 12 HP for Dip. A bit more for Verbs, but he's not the healthiest, but it just doesn't matter. Chipped away at once more. Comey now put in a tough situation. Sticks and stones brought into this round. The drop down, the backstab is there. And there's the molly kill. Huge! And right by the same time, he gets the two. The U2 just so clean. Come on. I mean, what can this guy do at this point? Komi, with a 1v2 that makes it look like it was nothing. Just had to take care of one. And then Molly was going to do the rest four. And oh, so far for Winthrop. This is not the script that we had at all. No, and Komi was instrumental in the, the victory in map three on split, having yeah. a huge performance. Those were his first two kills. The amount of impact that this guy continues to find for his team to keep this momentum going forward. We talked about how that was an issue, but Comey keeps it alive. Now North would have another buy. They have a showstopper and a lockdown. Here in tow in this round and a full buy behind it. And now Comey's alone at A. The setup changes a little bit with the two duelists trying to push mid, but moves goes down. The rest of the team there, once again, to support from mid back to A. And the question is, does Northwood still want to commit to this? The success just hasn't been there. Every single opening pick, as they try to get the space, ends up going the way of Nasty. And here comes that showstopper. Paint shell's already used. Nasty taken down. Showstopper doesn't find too much, but it opens up this side of that fragment. Gets a little goofy. Fortunately, not needed thus far. Health chipped away, but still five alive for Northwood University. 
And this fight, the, yeah, it, it didn't get planted. They want to take these fights first. Flader gets two, actually, on this killjoy. Yeah, cute and dark is not good to you fight here. Run. 10 HP. And, and it forces both of the, the lockdowns to come through. And both lockdowns used. Spike planted. A77 to back away. Flare will follow. It allows for that spike to get planted. Here comes Hunter. Trying to try and clear things out. Blind as a bat, but he finds one with the Hunter Shuri. And Dark is was so low anyways. 4 HP to work with the 2v2 and a retake attempt. A defuse. It can't get half. The kill is there for May 77. Anyways, all up to Ali. And what can Ali do? The spike's not planted for him. He had to spam through the box and flare understanding fully the situation at hand and Winthrop find a fifth in a row. And when we saw before uh, a 6-0, uh, a strong lead, it was also Winthrop once again talking about this momentum that the team gets and they hold on to it for as long as they can. When they bring also that surprise One factor, it just becomes even better for them. One enemy remaining. Ali is going to have a Viper Spit here potentially for that post, but with the aggressive position once again on this defense, they cannot take that space at all. And things get a little weird. Drone will force moves off the angle. Darkest just playing with the sounds of this playground that we call Icebox. Up the rope, drop down, nobody quite pushed up just yet. They forced the early aggression away from Winthrop University. Now they're starting to take space. Now nah, so he's just holding onto this corner. I want to see for how long. He snuck by the alarm bot. The smoke. Oh, he's, they have no idea. He snuck by the alarm bot. Benji finds it first. While all that chaos is happening, the hit will finally come through out towards the A site. And it's been claimed by Northwood University. A huge blunder out towards mid. Uh, the smoke there, that was the call to go across and make sure that alarm bot on the defense didn't get activated massive around and that is it that is the green light once they go right behind him flare komi once again the last one's here but we've seen what they're able to do flare good for one komi goes down yeah three more to worry about though nano swarms being popped here second one goes through flare was not able to deal with those all the high ground angles starting to be taken as the snake bite comes down as well and it'll be a team ace ali's snake bite to get it done eventually. Northwood finally on the board. I mean, but what did it take? You go back into that round and, and that right there, I mean, a, a penny into the wishing well that allowed Rip Benji to lurk up mid. I mean, how many times are you gonna be able to do that, right? Now, everybody's gonna be hyper aware of this, especially at this most, uh, once they come through and allow that, that play and that flank to be effective. It's. One that you also want to do, you know, in a round like this one, to secure your first round on the side of Northwood, but it's going to take a lot it's more of area. adaptation. And they go for this A hit early on. They go for that A presence. And every single time there's a Reyna. And even when they get that info with the KO knife, that's not enough to go for the push. Wow. And speaking of going for pushes, Nazi continues to do it. If this guy's got a stinger, you've got problems. As he fights for today, man, A77. Dealt with by his counterpart and dip. Did find a bit of damage. Good timing on Burps. That puts the util away. Nazi allowed to survive, but Ali here to collect. We'll catch that Reyna before he can find his way out of the situation. And, and look at the vibe for yeah. Winthrop. It's been five rounds in a row, but to say that this has been a one-sided affair, I mean, would be couldn't be further from the truth. You win five rounds in a row, you should have economy of plenty. You should be sitting pretty. Instead, every round has been so close that they can't buy a single thing as kills continue to go back and forth, but Northwood still in the driver's seat as they claim the safe site. Comey's been good for the heroics, but with 20 HP and a guardian, I think uh, these heroics will be saved for another time. Planted. It, and like you said, these rounds, they've Welcome been expensive for world both world of the teams. One by Perspid and followed by the other, actually. Comey committing to this one, full confidence into it, clean shells. Not gonna connect in too much. 20 HP as well to work with for the Viper. And you know, I like this. I just, just send it, right? Wow, Confidence is what we need to see from Winthrop. And that's exactly what they're showing us here. Down to one HP through this decay. The Viper's pit of his own. It'll be subsiding here momentarily. Just around the corner was Ali, who collects a third kill on the round. Most importantly, a second round win for Northwood. 
second one and and by the still though it wasn't the best for winthrop and yet they made it so expensive so you can expect these back and forth rounds to continue going um I'm slowly seeing the adaptation right oh, of Norwood that knows this rain of this jet, this Soba. They are usually going to play be playing towards A. And even after they get suppressed, that's not going to slow them down. They're still going aggro for it. So the setup even changes for this round on the defense. They put that kill tree on A. Reyna on the other side of the kill tree. Good for the kill. Wow. It's flair of all people to find that. Then, of course, our Soba's showing off here. Both finding Hunter Shuri kills. Darkest looking to get aggressive, but again, against his better judgment, he will back away. Or with his better judgment, he will back away safely from the lockdown. Meanwhile, I mean, kills are still being collected. An early pick onto Ferbsa. Space taken out towards A from this attack, and because of that, there's an immediate response. Pushing all the way through B was Comey. Collects an easy kill, and Northwood are seemingly trapped now. And Komi as well, so well played too, immediately backing up, not wanting to give any extra kill for Northwood. The advantage that they had, just playing around it once again. And these knives have been insane yes. from Darkest. You get that info, but what do you do with it? What can you do with it? Fragment out, this will stop the push from a heaven. Move's gonna give up his position. Flare finds one from across the site. Nazi collects another and Ali. Not long for this world. Moves closes it out and Winthrop continue marching forward here. Now a four round lead to their name. It is a double comp that double duel is composition thriving on the defense right now for Winthrop. Round after round, and part of it is nasty and the many variations that we've seen this guy play. Sometimes we see the aggression pushing right in and getting a kill, then using that dismiss to go back to safety. And sometimes it is holding in that corner, uh, waiting for that extra push and trying to secure one or two. It's been a little bit of everything that we can get from this Reyna. As the stack now is a little bit heavier towards B, and that is where the attack inside wants to go. And Dart dealt with, Komi quick on the angle. Look at Nazi from A main to B main. The aggression does not stop, and they are all getting cut down. It doesn't One matter what you brought remaining. into this round. It is gone. A near flawless finds a seventh for Winthrop. Seven rounds Just and a strong lead that could turn into the strongest that we've seen throughout today, throughout these grand finals. The most that Winthrop has gotten on the lead is that eight four. And two more, they could be what allows that map number five to be played today. The reverse sweep to continue to be a possibility. And then right now, I mean, it's a winter, but on the defense, I just look unstoppable. Again, the ideas, you know, they've been preparing for this comp and for this play. The blind drone. A dip in early drone, no aggression. A main this time as Nazi continues to keep it up out towards B. Surely expecting something here. No way, Nazi Util out, tosses out the Lyra. Do they expect another shot? They don't land for moves. He dashes to safety. Benji wishing he could get that kill back. And it escapes him there. A kill out towards the A side opens things up for Northwood to look to get that spike planted. I mean, but Flair from downtown again from screens. That has been the scariest player on this A side. And the null command becomes active. Two players already pretty up close in the defensive side. Did the kills need to connect? These are the rounds that we've seen Winthrop win. One enemy remaining. But Benji's so good. And Benji playing that late lurk, dealing with anybody rotating from this B side. Flair's also being heard in all of this. Flair didn't get spotted though by the knife. No, but uh, Benji heard him. Ben, you heard him storming through mid, dropping down boiler. 30 seconds Plant's left. been hurt. Flare with 70 Spike HP. Planted. He's going to try his hand. Timing. Burps on Darkus in front of him. Benji just behind him. Darkus is going to go up top. Will Way. have the high ground. I mean, this is crazy that he snuck this far. Surely he expects this one here. And Ferbs up will eventually get it done. No way. Had a 1v3 clutch when Ferbs is still alive. And Northwood grab a third. And that space finally granted towards A. That 
Well, it was a change for Winthrop when you see them finding both of the duelists playing towards B. And that was part of the new that no command was going to become active was maybe uh, the green light that entrance towards a that northwood was waiting for they only put the soba there and up backing up but that space was something that northwood has been craving and looking for every single time how many times though can they do this no command no longer available gonna depend on if something else that lockdown could be one Oh, the dart does not get dealt with. Move still on the angle, though. Unfortunately, not given anything there. Again, aggression out towards A main. This time, it yields no results. As a flash over the top, Nazi won't give up his spot just yet. Meanwhile, Northwood, they see the op pushing forward out towards A. They say, hey, let's head the other way. But there's a Viper, and... It's Komi as well, the only one here. This is what he likes the most, being the only one on site, trying to hold it by himself, but has to give out that space by, space by the Showstopper. Yeah, Showstopper out, but just nowhere to go for Furbs out. Oh, Moves can go up top, but oh, the Blades. They land, but not enough for a kill as Nazi collects two of his own. Hunter Shuri looking to clear things out. It's a player through mid and Ali. To try and find his way into a favorable position. Two players detained, and they're just around the corner. Benji will also find another. Fortunately for Winthrop, Flair was not spotted, and he's got the flick of a lifetime to find that trade kill onto Ali. And now Benji put in a situation where he's got to clutch himself a 1v3, but it's just out of reach. And Flair, for the past couple of rounds, he just seems like invincible. Nobody else, nobody on the enemy team can see him the way that he's sneaking into these positions. The way that he's holding on to them as well for the couple ones. And I mean, and you see it on the kills alone. 17 and 6 is this killjoy right now. We talked about the duelist, but that hasn't even been the biggest need for Winthrop. A team that is now locked in. And this is something that we mentioned, right? The halves, they've been 8-4. Can they secure one more? Can they take that stronger lead? 8-4 available. A buy though for Northwood. As once more moves. Finds himself on the front foot. A77 collects the kill on a firm cell. Again, Dip gives up way too much before using the drone. And Winthrop University comfortably in the driver's seat. They've, they sat in your car. They reclined it back. They changed it up. All the settings are wrong here. As Winthrop look to find themselves. And ninth, Ali gets some good damage. But, I mean, a third kill finds its way into the scoreboard. And again, fourth. It just like everything working out. All the players alive for Winthrop. And a dark that has been hitting this insane knife plays. And yet, it doesn't matter. It, it's not enough for the kills. It's not enough for the half. Sure. So, you know, there's some connection over there. And I mean... <laughs> It is working out for Winthrop, so, I mean, it's nice to see it in so many variations, especially in the early runs that we got to see on the defense. There were many setups that they had ready for that rain up, for the flashes, for the aggression to come through, to even hold and hide into those corners. Now on the attacking side, this is where it gets interesting. Like you said, you have those flashes, but the setup does become a lot more difficult. And Odar just yet instead an early drone moves on his front foot here. Darkest will be spotted. Furbsa also going to be spotted on this side of the map. It is so quick out this way. Good suppression, though. We'll make sure this util doesn't get a whole lot. But, I mean, the A site just continues to belong to A77. From defense to attack. It's Comey just on the other side of the toxic screen. Doesn't give himself up just yet. I mean, they're hiding behind the guise of this wall. And eventually will fall down. But who's on the other side? Not Furbsa. He's been taken off the map darkest still holds the high ground and it gets quiet for just a moment moves wants to get aggressive has the dash online but the wall comes up darkest too the positioning here that can be scary may be good for one at least a couple you're hoping for on the side of northwood low walking through the wall nazi low doesn't matter it's takes a head off the robot all good yep absolutely Ooh, dip gets him back though ollie still here to fight and 1v2 dip puts himself in a difficult situation but a winnable one at the very least but it's a77 on the other side he's been revealed but the ball is in his court he has to grab the spike and get it planted and a77 does it again again on the pistol round a77 ready for it and secures the double digits for winthrop how does he do it over and over again i'm not sure 
uh, just insane with the Soba this time around before the Sentinel. It doesn't matter. He's going to make sure he's the last one alive and that the round will go the way of Winthrop. And respect to A77. Light shields and an owl drone that round gets it done with the classic does not need the sheriff as we jump into the next round a couple of sheriffs purchased up in a frenzy this right here though this is chemical x this is everything that north would need to create the powerpuff girls these rounds typically go their way we'll see if that can be silenced and it's a push as well for the defense six gives an answer there dip takes down flare that was waiting for that push from that flank and it's not enough, so that we're gonna put one more body into watching behind that one being A77 for a second. I mean, how many people were spotted there, right? They're taking this A site. Uncontested for now, moves. Gonna grab the high ground oh, things. Play. About to get awkward though as he walks right into the sight lines of Benji. North would collect another kill in this anti-eco. Oh. Nazi goes aggressive. We'll find a kill on the darkest. And now ball in Northwood's court as they have to work their way against the clock, against the spike. Comey gonna try and dance his way out of a dangerous spot, and he does so. He takes a kill with him. Ali there for the trade, but Nazi gets one right back. And the health is low, surely not winnable for Northwood. And that's exactly the case. Nazi, big for four, 11 to three. Winthrop want to close out Icebox. Yeah, see with the 4K and that Reyna. Playing around that utility, being the difference maker, 11 rounds. And at the beginning of that round, I gotta be honest, I got scared for a second. We saw Northwood get an opening pick. Then they go all the way around. They leave one of the players watching, being scared of the flank possibility. The trade started to come through, but of course, Nazi was there and able to answer. Full buy for the bonus or against the bonus i should say moves going aggressive finds the first Furps up nabs one right back but guess who's right behind him nazi and this trusty stinger just keeps moving forward unfortunately doesn't quite have that pen value so he can't find the spam kill through the wall Furps has given up his spot and all this util used to try and keep this attack at bay and again, another round where we see the aggression and Winter but doesn't care about the knife. Three of the players get suppressed and still you saw Nasi going in on this position. And Northwood so aware of this, having to play together for this one. The rifles are on their side, but for the first half, there were not enough to secure rounds. Do they expect this? Verbsa tucked away. Player still on the high ground. Recon Volt goes out. Nobody revealed just yet. Benji. Scoots his way on forward, collects two huge kills. Yeah, Nazi gonna try his hand at the clutch. Unfortunately, he falls short. So Northwood, they get rifles in their hands. They find themselves in the wind column once more. And now they have to keep moving forward. And Northwood willing to give a little bit more space towards A, letting them cross the Viper wall and that playing reactive. One of them at the bottom, one of them at the top. Securing the fourth round too, but a long way to go if they want to win this map. They will want to close the grand finals here on Ace Boss. As winner, they seem to have just enough of a lead for it. The buy is not the best. A little bit uncomfortable. Really I hear a ruffle if anything from Nazi. Everybody else, the Guardian plays the aggression towards mid. I think that we haven't seen much before. Yeah, the mid play is almost been non existent for the most part. We've seen very few players take liberty of pushing out that way. Round 16 obviously gives us a bit more of that. That drone will just secure that AC-7 still hanging out in the area. One for one trade, but cold less from HP. In the North find themselves a bit more favored here in this next round. Ooh, Nazi. Okay, here we go. Emperor's online and then North will have problems. Benji's first one goes. Lots the next. The rotators are here. Zali likes to kill AC-7. Devin crossing out towards mid. Hunter should have slowed things down for a moment. Combs just got nowhere to go. That's the spike leaving the site. But now needs to be retrieved and it's all up to the list to do it. And so far away right Here. now, first gonna have to deal with Ali on the other side. With a crossfire too, making it impossible to get out. And ready for the aggression. Left. Ali, the play up the contact of Dick. Good shot from moves. 25 seconds on the clock though. He doesn't have a whole lot of time to play with. But they're giving up the tight. They give them the base draft. After, after the kill, you expect them to go in, but actually, yep, he said, having that base, having the lineup as well with the shark, where you usually land, and no one moves good for one. I almost saw that happening with the flag, but it did take care of it. Takes care of it. Oops, in the mind, the game's in there, but nor would it not fall for it. So, stalwart in their defense as they put another on the board, still trilling or chasing. Six rounds, five to win, Rups, 11. 
They're gonna go ahead and come together so they can just hear this one. Pretty good buy on the side of the attack. Moves gonna be rocking those knives. I'll find them. There's a rounder for when the two get to 12. To take it to the fifth map, is gotta be this one. Two in a row would be ideal, and a big part of it can be news. Uh, after that, we've said, uh, we talked about, uh, you know, the criminal activity that he sometimes has uh, when he has these knives, when he has his head feeling comfortable and ready to go. I mean, very uncharacteristic. That's one fight that Benji, we typically see it with those boobs. Oh, just playing distraction here. Flare. Not gonna clear corner. As would have hoped. Moves not gonna try for the fight. Blade's still available. Rifle in hand. They need to try and dig out Arcus. He's got himself a spike. Two players waiting this way. Moves finally here to collect. Fight. And the last one standing is dip. Uh, the IGL. Who talked about playing his best under pressure. Well, here in round 17, there's a lot of it. Fight planted. There's a little pressure when you're thinking about even going on map 5, something that Nor would never even have to deal with in the past. It's all been dominant performances from them. And to count it down, it. That's one, but that's about a nasty gets That third kill up to 12. This win for one round away from taking us to map number 5. Well, I, I mean, we talked about the dub duel. Nas obviously had his impact, especially on this half, but we're still seeing incredible things from Flares being at the right place at the right time, yeah. able to find trades for his team. And with that, backs against the wall here. You mentioned Dryad. Northwood University have never been pushed to a map 5. No matter the outcome, if Winthrop close out this one, they've got themselves a minor victory. Every single grand finals that we've seen for Nordwood, it is gonna be either a 2 a 3 maybe a 3 one But that's as close as it gets. This would be new territory. And then when we talk about the, the advantages that Nordwood has, the experience. This is not an experience that they have under, but they don't have the map 5 closing it up experience. And that can be good hands for one. But first, get any close out this ice box. And it seems like the tools are there, right? They have that I perspective, they have that lockdown to use. And then Nordwood, that just not do anything it feels like the dark is not it's not hitting at all at all well and what what you love to see right do you when you hit with the knife probably that they're gonna let up right you know that we yep. know that you're there there's no way you catch it off guard no now they just continue to run forward even defense oops getting Insane. with that knife he would say on the angle the opera it's not always that work but expect unexpected right it's kind of the takeaway for this one here because this is all an unexpected from Wynn university as we come back into the server the body is anything but the best north university but Thrup aren't at the weeds just yet. They still have to close it out. You need to close it out. And that for some teams or some players, that might be the most difficult thing. It, when you got comments going, making sure they're able to reset play and continue playing your own game for Winthrop. It seems like as of right now, they're not being on changing it. It's quite early on. Pretty heavy towards B. Only two players of the way back. Killed you so the moldies is all that yet that you can see from. Kale should enough to slow things down, but can't rest come back in time. Ooh, Dark is just looking for a good time there. They were gonna wait to play off Kill Jutilla to play it flat and stay. Just like the fucking there is too good for it. Two bodies chopped. Nobody in the area get that resurrect. And so Darkus will find himself taking his lead. Flair will secure the kill traded back though. The show's off for funds one. Eight souls will go out. Burps gets no more than that. As Ali with rifle in hand. And his sidekick Benji. Only with a Spectre 2 v 4 but if you got to retry it. It doesn't mean players have blood shot the rounds before, but with the time, the positioning is here towards the yellow just seems impossible. One kill from the lockdown. If Benji could find something early, maybe he could get something to the ultimate Lonzo online. But running out of time, don't feel comfortable. And finally, he'll walk his way towards yellow. Play still here. Fight Ozzy. Gives up the angle. Out comes the shorty. Benji may have done enough here. It's round. Oh, that's gonna do it. Win room. Situation. They've never been put this far. And they have to come out of a two-game slump. Where Winthrop just continue to march forward. Our last map here, Pearl, being map five, starts Winthrop on the attack once more. Some changes here. Flair be rocking the extra instead of the harbor. Now he obviously on that fade. It didn't give us a spicy that we we're hoping for, but still keeping it nice and spicy. This is it. It's all for the bears to leave it on the server in map five. The bears are down. The pistol is underway, and it is quick out towards mid. And towards the link, uh, so all that quick reaction that had to take place from Dark as somebody that has been there pretty much always in the right place, right time. The team of Earthwood was finding success, but now we're still have just a little bit. And now get just a fade you to similar to what you have. Well, that's kind of right, but probably, probably clearing out uh, just a little bit more. Oh, and Darkness doing it again through the smokes, much like what we saw in Split picks up. And the other angle. But they left off there. And he's back to play. He's gonna play with his teammate. Winthrop, though, they're not giving up his B-side pushes yet. They could be pinned here as well. The town has a perfect four swing. Benji and Dark as they get the two. They see a lot. Dark goes on now. Look who's alive. As they said, Mozzie here. As they said, to connect for just a moment. One nano swarm to play with one. They get this by planet, but three players. 
still live for the side of Northwood and one of them playing around the world. Max there on the corner, we'll see. Phase 77 is ready for this. He's not looking. The right direction, not he makes the first fight. Can't quite win it. Turpin, with with 87 now sets eyes, but it doesn't matter. Clean, but taken down further, not needed. The pistol round belongs to Northwood. Again, taking back those pistol rounds in the last couple maps. They've been pretty much impossible, but insane clutch with plays from E77. But with this one, it belongs to Norwood. On that retake, they play it well, tying us all for that jet to be kind and pushing from long, play a clear crossfire and secure that first round. Now, how many more can get in a row? We've seen the bonus, we've seen anti eco. Actually, this time around, it's a four as well with the stingers for Winthrop. Wow, well, yeah, this is really the first of its kind that we've seen on the day. Four stingers, a sheriff in the head. Day 7 will very comfortable with that weapon again. Quick out towards mid. This time, oh, they're not headed darkest direction. They'll head the opposite way out towards A7. But Space is in trade elsewhere. A7 forced to reload. Can't get a dodge. But he's been taken down. Winter wants to keep fighting for this. Traveler out. Can they swap sides, basically? They absolutely <laughs> swap sides here. Spy got plenty, though. It's, they're still hanging on to it. They took it to fight out towards the main. And the back dab here. What is happening? What is happening? Darks does again. That, this map, this round, this A site completely flipped the scramble. And at the end of it all, a 2v2 as we land. And Burpsides has a share of two work with right now. 40 HP. Not the most beneficial across the site. I think the players heard it. It's shooting the eye there. Very lusty. And it's done the first piece off with the highest off. Every time we see that thing by every time we see that wars, they have to worry, but when they make it look easy, they go all the way around the attacking side, and the demons, they swap sides completely, and Dark is trying going massive, kills flowers, not enough of the wraparound was the big difference maker for player. And now a little bit of their own medicine. Yes, that was, that was Woodrup stealing Northwood's flag, yep. winning a, a second round, taking the momentum once more away from Northwood. It's been all momentum for Wint, the last couple of maps, and they make sure that although they lose the pistol round, they get win their sales once more, but Darkus continues to deliver. Early kill on the Nazi, traded out Ferbsa. Back for a trade of zone. It's win finding themselves to play her down. Well, the Pistons early on towards mid. And in Northwood, it seems going back to what we saw into the earlier maps are being so proactive on that attacking side, going for the for the three men flank. If needed, just to guarantee the kills, at least trade. But that's not where Windrub went to go. Where the sheriff's hit. It's like the change is near and Benny, they have to back up from. Benji, a scary side anchor mentioned earlier in the show. See this guy, want to head the other direction, and that's exactly why Komi gave him too much. Been decapitated, a 77. They'll get that go back. Number still in favor of Northwood. In a round, they should have no right in winning. They've got those couple weapons, but those weapons have been stripped away. Meanwhile, Ferdo will try his hand, but the trusty sheriff at his side. Two players in front of the spike that continues to tick the sound that you cannot get out of your head. Tap one spot. First just a double flare on the swing. And player keeps his own momentum moving forward. I know we talk about the, the pressure that Dubaki likes to fill in situations like this, but also on the other side. Uh, we talked about Kony that running. sure so far has, has, been, has not been able to find the ghost, but hmm. th this is gonna come the usual now out of nowhere he's gonna step up and this is his comfort when he's playing that viper he talk about it this is when he feels the best and in a number five when stakes are high you can expect this viper to just a lot more on that attacking side once again proactive or day the cool boys for that presence on you make sure the push is not happen on as well and spot anything so that means fade the viper and back up for a sec you cannot peek this my fortly as that wall fade further was quite ready for the angle that went for playing a true kill for moves. Perps attain down, it's the operator gone. Most importantly, one a defender less to worry about for Wimp as they back away. And there's two still there. Two still close, but turn into wow. one and into zero. Nothing to do there. It seems like the first level was kind of bait, but you lose the operator and you lose the other two players. Yeah, Darkus will stand to it. Damage continues to deliver three kills. Need one more to make to 1v1. No Benny still a player down. Finds himself all his low sub and Komi put on the angle. There's just no breathing room here for Northwood. What, you, what impresses me the most of our rounds, this one, is you, you see Dark has been crazy. He plays for Winbro, but when you see the Winbro plays, they will come and collect it. And that has been the story for every single one of the maps, yeah, even the ones that may uh, stick for a little more on the other side. When we got to see Split, when we got to see Icebox, it was like nothing was going on. Like everything was fine for Winbro, and it seems to be at least for the beginning of this map of Pearl. A lot of you took a lot of ultimates to the best, and that means that Nuko has to be rocked once again on this go back. And proactive they are for out toward mid. Darkus still holds his ground. We'll see how many he's good for here in this round. Cruise up being amongst the best, but 
He been dealt with night and early. Wouldn't make shower enough for moves. Find the first frag. There's four more around the corner. Oh, okay, Ali. Goes through the smoke, let's move, knives on. But the round, still out of reach, the weapon's still not the best. You ultimates will see if you they need. Utilize so those spikes, just about to go halfway. The grabbing will pull him off until he spends all good as it's seven lines of takes him down. And we'll throw up, keep marching. A77 back on Sentinel Road, now back on skill, and getting last couple kills. I think we're Norwood, and the composition that running, one of the biggest advantages that you can take is getting that fight towards speed lane for every hit. You kind of don't want to work with but that always means you have to push the players to win throw up. Uh, it becomes so difficult with the way they're mm -hmm. holding, they have all that you so they have the Astra as well, and that's enough for the four rounds so far. Now, hey. Yeah, every round basically has been some sort of aggression in this Norwood squad. Mm. Out today. Them down. Yeah, this, this holds them down. Look at, I mean, crunch behind, right? The play is out towards mid. They're trying to get behind these players who made noise early in a main, but. As it settles out towards mid, Northwood find himself player down. Not see the only one to fall. And Pitt's good enough to come away in the ace. It's still easy, right? For, for the advantage that you have 43, the kill to you, the cost of it coming in. And then goes down. Here. So ready for it. Sit it inside, Cerebros. I feel like they cannot make a wrong call just yet from taking down further with the op and the two players falling earlier in the match and now understand that that position on the B site can always be a problem. If you usually good at least once in the game, and they're going to laugh. Yeah, and the pest plan is so strong, that means everybody has push from Nord with at least does that secure three. Look me still alive. Snake are down, Comey can try it hand. It's 7 AP, Ali marches his way onto this B site and steals away the round from underneath went through. Something that Lee mentioned is played bad when he's following Sin saying that that one was running down, push head. long, and get the skills. The instinct was right there, round as well for Norwood. But the question of how many more left that one can make it, that push was forced into be because of the high press, but that was on the defense. Then the kill you was strong, but then Ben got taken down, and it takes those heroic plays. But this is the grand finals. You want to have that consistency in both times. And the play style doesn't change on either side. Aggression. Name game. The reckon comes through. Dips and Delphurps. The follows try to go up top, but he got ripped out of the sky. Ali, good for two. The multi kill for Northwood. But players down. Are the defense swinging across a main dark deals with first moves. Around corner. That's the spike. Although they have to retrieve this one and do so by racing one of the defenders. And now, I didn't look to back away. Grab it. Move dashes forward. Players. Close proximity, but Benji just cannot. Pinpoint either. Move three kills on Brown. Winthrop, five, five. You can tell those rounds, they, they mean so much for Winthrop. Right, they win. There's a little scream. Scream off that celebration. That pressure will well, have to feel something that Moose mentioned in the interview that we got to listen to. So, made of the tournament, he gets second, he gets third, but he's never that first number one spot. So, every single round here of Pearl matters to him. And Cascade up towards main this time around, hanging on to that high tide there. is Ali. If there's ever time or a round that I would expect Northwood to find a way back in the game, it would be this one around where everybody is sitting with that trust six shooter. Benji, the only defender, or close to this B side. Yeah, and you're gonna depend so much more than that. Uh, Benji is usually good for one at least, especially when he's holding the sides himself. For this empty, I only want to recover a couple of his rivals, if anything. It forces a Benny tube cap. He's still knocked down on the other side, Benny's him seven. And there's mid, different war going on. Moose goes down. Benji, if you're comfortable with that, kill to invent a lot on your own. Nas looks to get aggressive. Seeker, though. Dot bolts from cut through it. Burps is just running away with it. This is last one zero behind the push. Oh, oh no way. He's seven dead again. Oh, I mean, inside the grapple door, you gotta get around the spot. They've been just out so far. Flare will to hang on. Keep the speak went halfway, all they can see, just that flare seeing like he needed to make a play. And thrifty round finds its way through into scoreboard. Northwood was within two. And the retakes on defense, the, the retakes on that B-side, they take everything at for Northwood. A timeout here coming through Windrup, asking for it, and one of the teams that I've seen doing this, very proactive, when they're winning, they're losing their round, this round, they're trying to secure the last one off the map every single time. The, the patient just seems to be everything was taken for that high. And one of the few times we've seen a Withrup timeout after losing a round. Typically, they like to get some of that momentum going all that timeout and see how they can keep it moving forward. They'll start to chat about, uh, obviously, talk about their economy. They can bring into this next round, how they can deal with this Northwood defense, who mm. seemingly 
I mean, Northwood, they stole her. They haven't changed up their game plan. They don't give up space for free. They're fighting for A main. They're fighting out toward mid. It's a uh, last round. What was a rocky timing move? Uh, second too early. They yep. give it to Ferda. And that's all Northwood needs. Uh, they are so scary, which is why it makes sense because Ferb's not on the number one, number two. He was on. And if you allow this to happen again, it can be when you start to see things get tied up and maybe yeah. a for Northwood and something that went up is something trying to deny as early as possible. It's a pretty heavy stack this time around toward A, but we've seen this stuff before with the three players on A pushing and going behind the boss. It hasn't worked out. They tried it twice. None of the times worked out. This time around, sorted by Flash, at least making it seem like they're close. And very close here. Looks like one of the leagues up a bit too much, but Nazi does exactly the same. So one for one trade. The controller down. And Darcy is on the other side of the map, so no smoke help here for Northwood to stop this push. But I think Fursa is happy that he's got clear sidelines. Another one of those rounds where one drop, they get those raids, they cut that noise. And nothing goes on for a couple seconds, and it's up before contact all the way on top to make it to the other side. I mean, how terrifying that Burbs is just dancing around, continues to repeat. No, they can get off the angle just yet. Comey eventually falls as well. Flare gets one back, that's it. That drops, Cog Divide. Mike us on the other side. Flair tries to pick this one up. Dark has just been a noose. It's dancing <laughs> back and forth on the other side of the wall. Meanwhile, Benji here to receive. And it could be a little bit of pinch here, but the player on the defense can play it together for the most part. Giving respect. I mean, 87 Flair, they are so low. The time against them. And Winthrop didn't feel like they had time to rotate or to adopt that much. So they back away the site. They can so see low. it. Yeah, health is low. I mean, this already from range would probably find a kill on both of these players get flare though he is playing the long game hooking all the way around and no way this works when there's 7 HP 9 HP this late should not work for one up and it got red it got red expecting push through all Benji deal that one Ferb so is aggressive but the operator finds player inside main just like that nine rounds in north would bring us in one the support that, that we've talked about for this duels player as well was absolutely there and made in a different way too where Ferbs was getting his kills, was going for that peak over and over again even though not every single of those were connecting into the damage it was still enough uh, to even force it was the cosmic divide you saw on the other side he get out of that position he was dog for his dog out and he's able to secure even that last kill a four to five a north with trying to make things even for this one and blades from coming from moves once again 20 push towards link they've seen him before there's an alarm but uh well to slow it down at least to detect where the guy is and smoke goes up inside link no i mean moves again criminal activity they make appearance here on pearl spots players rips the soul from one of them that being benji i mean it is just up spiraling in what has happened oh. and Kumi does the same thing towards v again this is what this guy likes to do all alone and he connects it like it's nothing but that, I mean, that's all this space to be. So I kind of get landed here. A 5v3 to deal with. Dark goes down too. I mean, an 87 so heads up. Holding five, smart five, position. Five, catches one through spawn. Spots out all as well. So they can call out where the harbor is playing from. Now Dim makes his self apparent. They know exactly where he's at here. Makes an appearance. Fine kill. How much more can he find? The right click just for the shoulder. He wants some more Nazi. Get a away. Runs right on in Dolly in this one. Much like many others from Northwood, starting to look doable here. High tide slows things down for a skin. 87 puts the first play of on the skin. Then with the diversity, grow their lead too. And both of them, they go that put once and we've seen Ali doing this. But this time around, it was both the goal was even a possibility, but also the time running out, the possibilities not there for Northwood. As it feels like it is the first time where this kind of position doesn't go their way. Winthrop capitalizing from this one, six rounds. And looking good, looking better than ever coming. Now, Today. The Viper Spit is gonna be available to post land. I mean, eight fours, nine threes, that's what we've seen. We've seen Northwood come back from those deficits. But we've also seen Winthrop find that winning recipe. How to close out the winning scoreline. Swing into half a 7 7, the tip of the spear, that championship glow on the Vandal here. The top frag for the server. Oh man, YouTube dealt with almost immediately. Ben gets information, but that's all it'll be. I'm playing super far back. As well, it's gonna be darkest. A uh, player that we've seen be so patient, but Winthrop forcing him to this position can be inside the spike and get pointed down as he gets activated. Is the phase that is trying to be respected, and it gets even even more difficult, right? A viper spit now coming through. You no, know, the viper's gonna be there. How many 
are gonna be playing Titan. Yeah, all angles being attacked here. Bendy seem to come in hard. Told oh, things are weird. Nas collects one. Get five. The second one, one trip thus far, but as you men dry it, the pit still to work through. As the call comes through, it's went from out of top to way kills. They couldn't even figure out where they were at. They get cut down and throw up like a set. Last round. And who's the on the defense? What can you do into it? It's so difficult. When first that lockdown, you have to wait for it. Then you have the hyper speed, you go in, you know the players that are going to be behind playing horse game, the players that are going to be off. It's just possible. The hinge that makes that round all the way of Winthrop. And it defense, I would like to have one more round. I mean, look at the buy. It's basically just a hero rifle here from, from Dip. From Idriel. Yeah, you still have to put specs on the Guardian's pit, but also kind of bolder weaponry so that Arcus has ears. Yeah, I mean, yeah, sure, go ahead and push it, but a K and a beer. That's in your mind. Get the job done. As I say that, a curtain, Arcus, got a rest from the B site. Two more vendors just around the corner. But again, the purchases aren't best either. Good spike will keep them at bay. Uh, and spike yet to be committed is yet Blair. And the rest of the team now finally feeling comfortable to push on. Comey takes down Verbs uh, to Guardian. Now deleted. And all three are from the same spot to try it northward. This is gonna firing squad for winner. And you gotta know it's gonna be multiple here. Oops, he's here. The first one, yes, he's just kidding. The last one as well. A24 again. Nobody was able to shut this team down. And it is Winthrop that is only like around the way from making it happen. Again, we have seen the score line a handful of times, one of which that did eventually go the way of North University. So now they get the chance to mount their attack. Furza will finally get to dictate the pace here on this jet pick. So jump back into the map, and A77's got that trust the sheriff here on the side. And the hacking side here for North, but it should be strong. Like the bandy as well, one can always catch play for guard. That'll be the opening pick, but in the meantime, that'd be it to be a spike in London. Yeah, good pressing fire there from Cole. Just made it 80 seconds, tapped up by the triple A's, but no answer behind it. Meanwhile, the triple A's still trying to find a way to get Benji out of this position. Up close, personal, too many on this way. Benji, Benji is fighting. He's playing a different game, what? but he's winning. And Cole's the last one standing in a 1 5. The first one, he hits a guard. The second one, two players pushing him at the same time. And he shot them down. That should be it. That should be the pistol here for the entire Northwood. Because yeah, Camille's the last one gets taken down. And Northwood, they get to five here. Talk about the pressure, too. I know we mentioned, you know, what it'd be for Winthrop to win this. But on the other side, it's been Northwood that even they haven't been playing in, into the best of five, all five maps. He like the pressure. He like these kind of scenarios. Talk about it. And so he has to be feeling good about all the mental games I can do. Ideally, he has to go against the other side now. And down, but not out. On North University, the chance to silence many storylines as they write their own in route to be the first ever CL champions. And the anti go round as a potent one. Ollie brings a guardian into it, Verbsa, with a rifle of his own. On the other side, A77 and Oobs they have themselves oh, upgrades. But what can they get them with it? The heavier stack towards the A side. Four players. Different positions here, but trying to secure at least a couple of treats into it. That's not where the spike is. That's not where play wants to come through. He's watching that point. He's watching where Benji and even on the other side, A77 can be. On the defense, getting antsy. Stack this A site. No, no, it's heard us yet. The middle games. Yeah. Start setting. Now they get the footsteps so they'll make that cult defenders act this way. High high blocks up. It's about every angle that you can hope for. The boobs will find the first, but the damage is intention away. He's been taken down. Classics are starting to cause problems for the rifles do just as the rifle do. A couple of kills. Armorless was the defense. They've been absolutely shredded. A77 spot in one. Get shot by another. It's three kills for herbs. Uh, we're brought once more within two. Some of the S commentary early on as we got into this map. And even the fourth map was a purpose map that we're looking at and it's looking for consistency. And that has just not been the case in every single map and every single one of these. So we see really a strong start, but then he was a little bit more quiet. If North would want to make his comeback on the last map, it has to be for really stepping up. And again, he did it for the last round, he got a couple kills. But as the default increases, with the buy on the other side, can he keep up with what moves has been doing? And a decast can toss out towards A, leaves Ozzy thinking that maybe he can catch somebody off guard. Nebula smoke. Of course, not with the other way. They collect themselves in orb and look to recess. Spread out here all across the map. This is a side of Nor not winning to for the early present on A that we saw early on, but definitely holding into the map control. Part of it being Ali. This is a good read from Northwood. 
Gonna press the safe site. One main three inside R. Nazi work as well. Back through. It's just Lloyd's us fall. Look at those rotations. Hit the side elsewhere. Darkus giving his position up. Yeah, close personal. Flushed up. It's still gets taken down. Perps there on the trade. A77. And I'll take a duel. And it's not a great duel. He has a 77. It does not feel good. But while his attention is elsewhere, Perps finds a shot to the side of the pillar. It gets just enough to survive. Move will try to okay. further stuff to run away with it once more. Flare has been clutch. With further still alive, this one not feeling too doable as he steps his way out. The Viper Util Darkest takes him down, and we've been brought with one. They round here making that side when they're a little bit more comfortable with that slow round. Where you see some, some sort of active person on a tour mid, but this time around a bit more quiet, and that allows Spurps that to go massive. Player that I just about needs to keep this consistency and now needs to make things even. Two marshals seem like it's gonna be the bot here for when on the defense. What's this? Now on the B side, there's a hands. Blades popped. Cascade out of the block. The angle somehow moves, survives from damage. For far too long, he'll eventually be tapped up, but he hasn't been taken down. It's Marshall's here for has gone, but those kills are traded back immediately. And now there's nobody else that close. It only Cody make that rotation from Link spot by the Seeker's too. was also just for a second. The wall as well from the hover makes it so much harder. Yeah, the high tide making it impossible. Though a few more seconds will be taken off the clock, courtesy of the Harbor YouTube. One player spotted did to try and confirm this information. Yeah. A 77 also noted on his egg. Player, the first one of himself fought. We take down by Ali. The group's up three kills on the run, and we are tied up at eight. A nerf on the attacking side should be favored. But in defense, one looking to get things going on on his defensive. And it's just not been easy. I mean, look at it four months in a row. And an 8 4 that we see once again. And what three maps with an 8 4 and a nerf with two of them is able to come back. Main thing is even now the question is does it stay this way? Or did it actually take the lead close out? We're finally seeing uh, some of the jet present, or what is supposed to be the jet present, right? You got a jet, our team makes the opener to make an appearance. And oops, just put that one onto the server. It's on the wrong side of the map earlier in round 17. So it's gonna be a little bit more of what we saw earlier, where they, they're fight happening on A, making sure nobody's pushing, and then Ali stays there playing. And making sure that's not gonna be the case. Going back to this A side. It's two stars. Has defense. I mean, one or not. Yeah. And get Andy dancing around the map here. Now Kono knows that he is in a tough spot for the way. I think comes down once more nano swarms versus him off the side. Completely wants to find himself a bit of bam damage, but it's not safe him to do so. And the reckoning goes down. The spike is also gonna go down. Call oh, going back. Oh no, hey, Withrop does this. Homie comes back. Withrop comes back. A huge pick up there. But as mentioned, Homie trying to stop for as long as possible and picking up arguably one of the largest kills you could get. Burps has That's been it. taking control of this game. Can we find out one allows the rest of the squad to get the job done? And it was just in time where you see Reckoning, you know the hit is gonna come through on that ace. side. Komi's forward back because that ultimate, but when he has had to go for swing, that is more than enough time for the rest of Winthrop to be ready to support them and secure it. Once again, the lead by Winthrop. Back and forth we go. If game five wasn't enough, how about a game five that continues to stay within a couple of rounds? Winthrop, they do have themselves lead, but I still in the hands of Kami. Looking good for Northwood going into the next couple of rounds. So it's gonna take a second to create that gap. We'll see if it's even possible here in this round. And one of the benefits of that composition that Northwood has is that beside. But that's not something that we've seen in the last four rounds until Winthrop. But I'm more than happy to take advantage of it. Heavy Kojo Utah and Astros are as well to deal with the on A. They want to come in and want to contest it. And that just means a picket slow down, but there's six seconds. And a dark is inside of Viber's pit. Of Kumi. But a one sided approach for now. Darkest. And started to explore. To see Real Blizzard to clear out E77's no. to the wall. Eventually, it's NG. Find kill, not further. But one player took out thus far. And tie goes up one more. Oval also stops some of the fans. Kumi gives it the ultimate willingly. And find a kill on Darkest. Meanwhile, Birds are going to the back line, but he's been all them down. But only a dip their best. First up, impression, and continue to walk forward. And now, homie, has to try and do it all on his own. Some has it been a util play with, but this one feels like a tall mountain to climb. Attack on the spike, expecting a push. The snake bite. First up is Benji, and down goes Cole. 
Then you first one, and the only need to close out that round for Norwood. And yep, yeah, something that I mentioned right ahead, we've seen towards a multiple scenarios. It's not easy. First, have to wait for the Hoji until they back up, they go into it again. And that play becomes a lot more difficult on the defense. It starts to get red. That E77 setup comes well playing all the way back. And the two player that, especially if you are positioned towards the out, there's nowhere to run over there. No run. We talk about the implications of that round and what Norwood's economy should they lose, they would still be able to buy. Well, they did not lose. They ended up winning that round, and that puts Winthrop in an awkward spot in terms of their economy as the knives are used just around go but moves. Who brings a marshal in this one? And it, it's not the best across board for the best of the team. Yeah, patience here, and uh, the duo that we get to see for the last map, right? A first set and a moves that are coming up with those individual plays. They're trying to be the one difference maker, the one that is only getting the open kill, securing it all the way till again, getting those clutches, because that's what's taking between the two to make things even to be a 9 to 9 on map number 5 of the grand finals. A timeout needed, and a timeout taken. And the, the the call for the investment is a minor one move puts down the marshal pulls out the sheriffs that flesh will reveal a player peeking he long a dog will reveal a player pushing the long so move force up his on a boost players get spotted actually gets them against stock has no way what wow. just does that i guess Darkest of all people. I mean, Darkest yeah. is the guy that does thing like that. But Flare finds way. Lock on you. Get defenders. A little disconnected from the side. Flare can opt to the cosmic device here. It's gonna cut off team for a second. But once more, I mean, Northwood Lance continue to push forward. All the grab one. Big G, the transfer for two. Now, Nazi and A77 can try their darnest. They don't have a whole lot to go off of here. Nazi's got A77. Sheriff in hand. One pip away from the lockdown. 30 way of bills or deaths. Ultimate will be online, and that spike that it's so far away. Respect it to the Killjoy with Jeff and Dance. Full respect to Ace when you send the only player left in the one toward A. That means a call for the spike to plant towards B in a 1B3. Seems like he didn't him towards long. And I'm in here. Two players on swing. Oh my goodness. That got scared. That was. We've already seen A77 find a collateral kill. It was just on the corner from another. It was too close for comfort for sure, but I know what is able to use Cure. I mean, you look at the rounds that these guys on the attacking side have been able to get this. Where this composition thrives the most, it is usually towards you, but they've shown greatness on a, the A side as well, on mid. And they take the lead. They get double digits. Get double digits. Late in the game, they got themselves a lead. It seems like it's one run lead. Usually, is all North would need. To close it out, lock on a bail on the opposite side, out towards the long go. Five players strong, Northwood. Oh, five players. Only told you to. I'm just gonna hold that play down, though. It does deactivate it for Justin. I know. Pushing from behind. It's aggressive on me. And I'm fully convinced oh. this play is head out this way. Now the rotations start to cut through. Call me the first one. Dealt with the darkest. We'll plump down pit. 877 gonna try and force him off the site. And away from Viper. You till teams like they just want to fight forward. Look to put the lockdown. They do so successfully. Lockdown destroyed. Oh, but look at this. What's wrong? Oh, go go shoot. Tardis stands inside his pit. Strike down. The look picked that one up. Sends the spray back. First pulled out his knife. This guy is a madman. Ammunition to work with. A pit that still stands. Spike in hand. And he's hit. Is he? Is he? <laughs> 30 seconds left. Because that was a read winter hat. That was a read the flare hat. Maybe backing out for the B side of this thing. It seemed like it was almost planted and it never got planted, but it's back to be that Viper spit still alive for just a second. If I planted anywhere in the pit, Dark it could be. See that decay starting to set in. They exchange shots early. So both players burst for wear. 36 HP flat off the end. Go Dark against it done. Four day in the round. Northwood keep pushing. And get to 11 thanks to Dark and that 1v1. Played so smart. Cuts out, though. Keeps that butter spit life for just a second. Instead, it's possible in this button. Into the best angle possible. And even using that Astra star to your own Let's advantage. Oh, they're feeling good. Dark they're is feeling good. good. They're feel and you know, Dark was the player of Maps O who, who sat a little longer at his PC. Yeah. He kind of yeah, reveled in the moment and understanding what was about to happen and then coming back when it matters most. And much like we've oh. seen from Homie, get it from Darkest. Oh, it doesn't stop there. From Darkest, from Fursa to Darkest. Now back to Fursa. Gets us started another round. He's not even having good with the shift kills, but completely alone gets taken down. And this is maybe the confidence that Orphan was waiting for. The reckoning is used. 
Everything forces everybody off. Oh, high tide. Keeps him at bay. Few knives used there. Deal with the Prowlers. Knight all available. Wall goes down. Flare. Gonna be forced forward. He's gonna take out. The raid this moves. Plays long on. Benji ready for this one. How's he gonna try his hand with this rusty steer in his back pocket? Benji's Ben do it. Ben fuck out. But first up, three kills to his neck. One find a first dip. We'll find the fifth. No ace, but who cares? It's a round. It's map. It's series. It's championship point here for North Wolf. Only one more that is gonna be needed for North Wolf to keep the screen of always getting the first spot. Every single tournament go to a team that is always on spot in a timeout. Make sure that is gonna happen. On the nerves. There's still a chance with a buy and two ultimates available for win to find their way back into this. You have to think North Wolf. Outside of being a map five, they've been they've been taking the distance in the series alone. They've been down four to eight, and they found map in back map two, and now they look to do it again when it matters. When it matters the most, and you want to close out this map for Norwood. It's been insane this time. How did the some position benefit the attacking side? But this again, something new for them. Only one round of win has been able to get on the defensive side. Full retained. What a chance of seeing that. It's gotta be a complete adaptation to the play style. They're leaving the Z-Sa for reach in some scenarios. And even before that retake these plays, it is sometimes one of the players getting taken down and 877 going aggressive for some of them. Komi trying to get a hero play. This is the time where the team has to play together that win throw that we know that we saw in the previous maps. And we'll switch changes. Out of timeout. The nightfall. The blades in back pocket move has had himself a stellar performance. Almost found a way to slow Northwood down just a round ago, but Northwood fuse to lose. And this is what I mentioned, right? The only two players that are playing on that beast side is Coney and A77. Sometimes there's only one left behind, and he's even good for one that has it. Can they back up, or can they get those kills before they have his consent? And what it's looked like, right? The high tide has done so much to keep his team at bay. A77 gets a far to two kills. Still alive. Yet, win for the 77 will find one more three kills away. The kill toy, who single handedly locked down the B side, wants to fuck some more. It's moves on the shoulder. The 4K will escape him. Can Benji get it on one more kill to his name? Can win from Hang on. And Winbrook that has to take one step at the time, one run at the time, take us all the way to overcome on the map number five of Grand Finals, trying to carry it that way. With the against the wall, that's when you get to see these kind of plays. A77 going massive into it, and they answer the one question of how this whole thing to be was going to look like. That means probably not the same version, right? Of that play from Norwood. It's right on the floor, no intention to go fast. And no chance at resing this Norwood. Connie, so it is going to be an a brooder of battle this round and next. If we get to see that overtime trailblazer does spot a whole lot. Ali opening up through the toxic screen, but defense nobody home. And Nerf with that on this round. I got the spot. Did you give that respect if anything to Winthrop? A Winthrop that this time around playing pretty far back with the first one to make contact potentially become towards thing. 50 if Ash confirms players on the east side, but no mid just yet from Northwood. When you will about to expire. Homie, hearing this. The plan is to have B. Well, at least already said shit there. They're gonna deal with Homie and A77. Massive. Players that are able to hold this down. They did that last round and they do it again. Yeah, walls up. I'll hit spot just and now they get dead by Nazi. There's the fight. Well, win from all here to defend. They fuse the info. And take us to the last round of regulation in flawless fashion. As flawless as it can be in the play. Red perfectly by the side of Winthrop. 11 rounds to 12. And Norwood that again never felt this position before. No matter the experience, tier 2. No matter the experience that they had internationally. And that record comes clutch. This is a scenario. Uh, it is the first time that you're experiencing a map no five potentially an overtime on the line. And Ferbs, uh, winning play with it. Ferbs, uh, feeling like he's got the winning recipe on our screen here. We can see and is it comfortably sitting with an operator in his hands on the attack side. Not you commit as we jump away to a time out. I mean, how do you calm yourself down in a situation like this? In having this operator, it could mean a lesser buy for the rest of the team. Look, Darkus has invested so much of this one, and the only thing that they can give in response, unless Ferbs has some util to sell. Oh, okay. Never mind. Not cool. No chemical S. No power pop girls. First, I just go back to try and true. I think something more important to talk about, though, is Bendy with that lockdown. A huge piece of utility.
massive. And gonna be only one needed on the other side for A77. Uh, player that we've seen get some aggressive positions that might enable him to get his ultimate. Then you get seeing a defense. It's a delete that was always effective with this ultimate alone to get Nurk with uncomfortable and one dude in the last round. A cloud burst down, flash just on the other side, move pops away, force the back away, Prowler will confirm, Operator, now noted as it rings through the cascade wall, no be home, lockdown news, defense, now can be forced to back away. I've got your oh, and his lay as well, the Seekers forcing everybody back in every single way possible, it is an ace side that wants to be the side of Northwood. Oh, who goes to top, Ark on the flag, Northwood starting to piece it together, three, main, ace me seven, call me in moves, separate them from lifting the trophy. The time ticks away. One dot left in the operator V before being forced to reload. 87 finds one that's from Sakon. He does it again for a second. The back step from Kobe starts to collect. And then 2v2. They have to start to push the pace. Snake bites will first dip away. They need to find Benji inside. The cloud burst moves will go. Benji hits on. And North would have fun and been pushed to the ring. But they refuse to give up. And Northwood are your first ever C-Bound champions.